Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> What's going on everyone? It's Charonism back again with a, another video for you today. Although today's video is a little bit different and so I wanted to start out by issuing a warning and I mean this uh, in all sincerity. If I were to have a rating scale of um, content wise and subject matter wise this is an absolute 10 meaning there should be no children watching this video. Um, I mean that in all sincerity, so if there's anybody in your house that you let watch the videos, even if they're 14, 16, 17, this is one I would not let them watch. And if you are uh, yourself queasy or uneasy about hearing things that might be of the sexual nature involving children, um, that might be of uh, very bloody, and um, it's just a really gross video but it needs to get out it needs to be heard and so I'm going to tell the story it's uh, going on in our world and we need to do everything that we can do to stop it and expose it and uh, let everybody know that it's happening so just make sure that you understand that I am dead serious that uh, you need to be a strong stomached individual to actually watch this video so now folks let's get into the Hampstead case and the whistleblower kids. First, I wanted to make sure you understand that I am presenting this evidence for you to make up your own mind. And obviously, mine is made up, uh, but I want you to see the different points of view in the story and then to decide which one you trust, which one you believe. If you end up, like me, believing the children and their mother, then with that comes the admission that we live in a world far worse than we could have ever even dreamt. Basically the worst of times. So let me tell you first the story as I introduce each of the players. And then from there I'll tell you the order that we will be attacking this story. Again, this is your last warning, final warning. This will be the hardest thing you've ever had to watch. I don't recommend it unless you have a strong need for truth like I do and a desire to help any helpless kid at any point that you can. So let us meet the players. So to begin, we have the girl, she's nine, was eight, adorable kids, um, very smart kids. You're going to hear uh, several interviews with them. And basically what happened is they were fooling around with each other, maybe touching each other where they weren't supposed to. And their mom, Ella Drapert, walked in, witnessed what was going on. Obviously shocked, she asked the kids why they were doing that. And they began to tell her that their father has been allowing that kind of behavior and also teaching him that behavior. And, of course, it goes much deeper than that. As they begin to tell their mother that their father actually is the head of a new religion. 
And in this religion, they kill babies. And they eat the babies. And they drink the blood. And you may be thinking, whoa, this is crazy. And it is. And you need to hear these kids give their side of the story and hear what they have to say. And if you know kids, you can decide if it's made up or not. The school is also involved. It's not just these two, but it's other kids. And it's also the teachers at the school. Not just that, it's also the local police, the headmaster of the school, the nurse, and more. Well, this all went to court, and the judge, Miss Justice Poffrey, uh, ruled in favor of basically the father, saying that uh, the kids' claims were um, factless and they were baseless lies made up by the mother. And so if you go online now and look up this case, you're going to probably see something like this. It says, police are hunting the runaway mother who tortured her two children into inventing a fantasy that claimed that their father was the head of a satanic sex cult. Now, this is the news story that is going around, so most people believe the story that the mother uh, had made these kids lie for whatever reason. Um, now, the reason that they claim is because there was some sort of custody dispute going on. Well, the thing is there, wouldn't it have been easier for the mother to just say, kids, why don't you tell the police that your dad touched you in your private places? No, see, these kids go quite a bit further, and I want you to see these interviews. So, the order we are going to go through is first we're going to listen to the brother and sister. After they had spoken to their mother, she had a friend who was uh, in law or a lawyer, and this lawyer came over and videotaped the interviews. We're going to watch those first. After that, we're going to watch the father get interviewed. After that, we're going to watch the mother get interviewed. And then we'll go back to the Child Protective Service interviewing the children. And finally end it with some media and some protesters and some activists. And that will be it. So listen up carefully. Try and get a read for these kids. Oh, and just a note. Uh, make sure you watch the whole video and even the three full interviews for each kid. Otherwise, it's hard to really make a good determination. Uh, there are some points, like in the mom's uh, little speech, where she mentions a bunch of people's names that you could probably fast forward. But for the most part, you got to hear all the content. And lastly, uh, see how this makes you feel. And don't be afraid to stand up and speak out if you ever see something that makes you feel gross inside, there's a reason. Trust that intuition, that gut, and that brain. So here's the kids. Let's check it out. This cult is because when we, the first time whenever we ever did, done it. Did what? First like time? we first ever we saw Papa the kill first? a baby and me and, and, and we and Gabriel done. He's the boss. Of what? Of the whole, whole thing. Of the what? Boss of what? Of the whole cult. The whole, cu the whole Peter Fowl ring. And what, what do they do in this cult? They do sex there. They kill babies. Sex to who? They do sex to children. They do it to every, each other. Each other. And what are the babies for? What do you get the, the babies? The babies, we said the social services to do it, unfortunately. They get the babies from families who can't can't look after the baby and who don't want the baby. Really? Yes. Social Sometimes, services, I find that difficult to believe. Yes. What's well, their name? Richie. Richie Emma. who? Richie who? Richie, I don't know his surname, but it's Richie. His the name's... ones who came to our house. I think it was he's your school. particular social, he's your social service, he's a worker that helps Yes, you. and Ella, the other lady who first Polish time, one, yes, she came to our house in 47 million. One second. And, and, and then the social services, they get babies from other families, so like 
So if the family can't afford a baby, so if they've got a baby but they can't look after it or anything like that, so if they get a baby, they get, and give baby. The, Who do they give the baby to? Do they sell the baby they, or just they, give them? They don't just give them, they sell it because they can't really... If they sometimes give, but they don't like just give it like, just give it like borrow, like for like, like a rent. They give it away because sometimes families are just part poor. So like in like in uh, Tanja, there are people who uh, who had bay children and they were really poor. They couldn't afford food for them. So if the families not can't ha doesn't have money and they get a baby, they just sell they it. Babies? They eat it. Do sex How first. How do they eat the baby? They cut. Alive? Is the baby alive? No, nope, they inject it to make it go to sleep. And, and then and then after Papa tells us to hold the knife and then he puts his big hand on. He puts it, pushes the, it into the neck, cuts it, and after, but when well, it's upside down, so it's like he goes like upside, that. How does the baby become upside down? So you get a string, hang it up, and it's upside down when it's asleep. And well, hang the baby upside down after they inject it. Yes. Miss Margin, the nurse, she Ms. Margin. Who's Miss Margin? Miss Margin is a nurse of our school. She does the injecting. She does, she pretends to be kind to my mom and tries to like say be kind. And then after she just uh, she injects. She's a nurse, so she pretends to be kind to mom. And she just she so if me and Gabe, if I hurt myself, she pretends to be like really kind to us and like look after us. And give us ice she's a member of this cult? Yes. She's a and what do they all have? You say they all have a special something that they wear and stuff? Yes, they wear this, but they wear this uh, special kind of shoes. They make her. What shoes? What special shoes, kind of shoes? Baby skin shoes. Daniel, Felix, and Max. Who they, are Daniel, Felix, and Max? They work at a shoe shop. Daniel and Felix, yes. What shoe shop do they work at? Daniel and Felix, they work in Swiss, the next to the O2 Centre one in this in this tube station. Where? Just inside the tube station. In so the tube station where? What tube station, Daniel? O2 Centre one. O2 Centre where? No. So in the corner. Which tube station? I think it's the next to Waitrose. I don't know. Hampstead. Hampstead Road station. Finchley Road station. Oh, the tube station? Yes, yes. So when you come in, there's this shop okay, there and the shoe shop. Yet. Just tell me what they do, these fellows. And those fellows, they take off the skin. I don't know how. The I don't skin of whom? Of the baby. The baby. And they make shoes? Yes. And who wears these shoes? Papa. Everyone wears the shoes. Everyone in the cult? Yes. Thank and you. Then One moment. One moment. Are there any other schools or churches involved? There's other schools and churches involved. Which uh, ones? The St. Margaret. What is your school, by the way? Christchurch School Park. Christchurch in where? Primary, in which part primary part School. In Hampstead. And then, which other schools? You when does it? You when does it? Um, Hampstead Parochio, the one with the tree sign in. It's a Hampstead Heath School. Hampstead Heath School, and all the schools in Hampstead do it. In St Margaret's does it. We also have a church, our own big church, and we use it for sex, eating baby, drinking baby's blood. We kill, we sacrifice the baby, we do sex to the babies, we throw the, when we're dancing with the skulls after the babies are what dead. What skulls? What skulls? The baby skulls. We from put, before? Yeah, from before. We put it on. Where did the baby skulls come from? They come from the baby. How do you get them from the baby? We cut the baby's head off, We um, then we clear all the meat from the skulls, and then we um, put all the meat and cook it, sometimes we roast it, sometimes we roast it in the oven, sometimes we cook it on a fire you, you told me there's some restaurants. Yeah, and there's some restaurants, McDonald's in Hampstead and East Finchley. And East Finchley is a, is a, East Finchley is a swimming pool and in East Finchley there's a swimming pool. And the whole, um, whole, the whole East Finchley does it, the boss does it, everybody does it. That's what? The sex, eating baby, and, we, and there's McDonald's in there, and they're also involved, and there's Starbucks inside, and they're also involved, and there's sweets shop in there. Well, no, 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 don't rush, don't rush. And the you sweets. say McDonald's in Hampstead and Finchley, right? Yes. East Finchley. Yes. And you said Starbucks where? Which Starbucks? Starbucks in Hampstead and, I mean, no, not in East Finchley, in Hampstead. So not all, not no. all McDonald's are involved, no. and not all Starbucks? No. Only the ones where? In Hampstead and East Finchley, and also um, there, there's a. What about Belsays Park? Yeah, Belsays. No, there's no, 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 no. There's Starbucks there. 
Does, do they do that or not? Yeah, they do. And this is a, a pizza express in Starbucks. No, this pizza express in Elsa Park, and Park. they do it. And Starbucks does it in Starbucks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so Gabriel was telling me that the whole school's in on it. Yes. Whole school is. Oh my god. All the teachers. And there's a place as well. What's the name of the place? One is called Dave Williams. Mm hmm. He's that. Okay. And then there's one with Simon Pinson. Right. And there's, there's another one, Alice Singleton. Oh, Singleton. Are they from Hampstead Police Station? Yeah. Right. And we'll get sorted out. You say, was there priests involved? Yes. What was the name of the priest? Father Paul. Father Paul. And it was Christ Church? Yes. Hampstead? Yes. Right. We'll sort of it, don't we? Social services, the GP, the doctors. They know about it? Sister. They're all in on it? Mm-hmm. That's what Papa Ham said. That they might, my father might escape if he gets alerted. Have you drunk blood? Have you drunk blood? Yeah. Tastes like metal. Tastes like metal, you know. Well, I do Well, you're vegetarian. You're vegan. It's weird taste. Weird taste. And they made you eat flesh as well. Baby's flesh. flesh. Was it baby's flesh? Yes, baby's flesh. And meat. And normal animal flesh, right. like chicken and beef. Right. Why do they cut the heads off the babies? They hang it upside down. Right. And after this, this big white bowl under hmm. And after they cut, they don't cut the head off to say it falls on the floor. Right. They leave it on, they cut off the head. Yeah. But then after it's still on, it's just hanging on. Right. And then the blood drips in. And if there's blood just spilled on the floor or anything, like that splashed anywhere, they got mops. They do everything. Yeah, they don't like to leave a mess. <coughs> They, 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 they like to leave them nice. Right. But they know that just in case, if maybe one of the children will tell if police or something. Right. And what and else stop, are you going to stop? And stop killing babies. And stop killing babies and we have to fear, but we're going to face our fear and face our urge. You're going to face your fear? Because fear is what? Fear is the mind killer. And you're going to help us to catch? Who are you going to help us to catch? All the policemen. What happens in the church? And we do sacrifice the baby, sacrifice and eat the baby. What do you mean sacrifice and eat the baby? So we kill the baby and eat it and drink, drink the blood from it. Is that true, Gabriel? Yes. And we dance with the skulls. You what? We dance with the skulls in the church. What the skulls? Church. Skulls baby of the baby. Skulls. Pardon? Baby the skull, skulls. The skulls of the baby. You dance with the baby skulls? Yes. And who kills the baby? Papa, me, Elisa. And so... Who kills the babies? Papa. And what, he gets you to help him? Yes. Yes. Shoot. So he tells us to hold our, uh, the hand on the knife, and then he holds his hand on, on our hand, so then he cuts the baby's head off. And then he tips it upside down, and then we drain the blood. And then what they do? Yes. Would you tell us about the marks or any marks, distinguishing marks on the people who abused you at the school, please? Yes. Mrs. Forsyke, she got a birthmark. Who's Mrs. Forsyke? Will you Mrs. Describe? Forsyke, she's the head teacher, she's the head mistress. And what's the name of your school? Christchurch Primary School in oh. Hampstead. Thank you very much. And also she has a birthmark all around. Who are we talking about again? Mrs. Forstick. Who and is who is the head teacher? Okay. Of Christchurch Primary School. And she got a birthmark all around her private and on her private. A birthmark? What type of birthmark does she have? She has like a dark pink one. And where is it? All where? All 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 around her private and on her privates. Um, on her inner thighs? Ooh, on the inner size here, on the size here. Would you tell us what happens in the church now, please, Gabriel? Yes. In the church, um, they, um, they, um, they cook the baby there, they do sex there, they, um, um, and they also have secret rooms there. 
They cook the baby. Yeah, and they have a secret kitchen. They cook the baby, they have secret rooms and secret kitchen. Yes. And what goes on there? You say they cook the baby. Yes. Is the baby alive when they cook the baby? No, it's dead. They kill it. Who kills the baby? Me, yeah. My, uh, my dad kills the baby. Um, the other, other adults kill the baby, other fathers. When you say me, how do you mean me? I... Papa helped me. Oh, you helped, your, your father helped you to do it, right? Yeah, he never, I never did it on my own. Okay. And who are the other people who kill the babies? There's other parents, um, father, um, the parents of the father, um, the the, um, the um, Clark's father kill babies. He's really strong. Clark's father killed yeah, babies. Yeah, and Leon's. And Leon's father. Yes. Who else? Can you tell me any of the other fathers that kill babies, please? Yes. Mia's. Mia, because um, all the twenty special children have the tattoos that expect. Except. Um, Except for me and myself, no, for my except for myself and my sister, because my mum isn't a member of the cult. Okay. Anyone else have tattoos? Yes, the twenty special children all have tattoos. And also, and also, all the teachers have tattoos. Mr. F Mr. Fanoni have tattoos all on his. Arms and Mr. Gorge also got tattoos on his arms, and also they have it on the pussies, the privates. And? And also all the teachers have it, but not all parents. So all the teachers have tattoos yeah. on their privates, you say? Yeah. And what type of tattoos do they have on the private? They Are have these devil the ta tattoos. Pardon, what type of tattoos? Devil and monster tattoos. On their privates? Yes. They all have them? Yes. All of the teachers in, in Christchurch Primary School yes. have devil tattoos on their yeah. private parts. Yeah. No, also monster ones. Yeah, devil is in the middle, but also monster ones, and also they have piercings. Okay. Have you, are these the tattoos that you've drawn pictures of, you've given us pictures of? Yeah. You've drawn some pictures of tattoos. Are these the tattoos you're talking about? Yeah. Well, um, so... They also make shoes of the skin, of the baby's skin. They've got a special tool and they then just, make, they put it in a skin and it, like in a baby's skin and then they take pull it, it off. out. And then they put it, then they stick it, because the blood is kind of sticky. And stick they, it they on make the, the shoe, shoe with the sole and, and the flip flops. They stick on the flip flops. They've got flip flops and like those shoes, like the one that I, I like, the ones that I showed my mum in the shoe shop in Grand Cross. Those ones with this big, it got a big star on his baby skin, but it's not like, if it's not, it's, it's, you can do it coloured, but it's not like, it's a bit see-through there. For the skin? Yes, the skin. Okay, we'll show you this. A big black star, it was, wait, 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 pause, pause. I have to go and get, draw the star picture. Mm. I'm um, carving skin off. Yeah, and um, also, um, um, Alex is like really good. Uh, carving the skin from where? From the baby, and the, the, and when the baby's dead. When the, and these are when the baby's dead, and these are the baby skin shoes we're talking about. Yes. And who wears them, and who keeps them, and where do they keep them? Well, other the parents keep it in um, like cu ordinary cupboards, and what the dead baby skin shoes? Yeah. Everybody keeps their own shoes. Yeah. And who keeps yours? Mr. Hollings, a teacher, and my sister's teacher when I was in your free. And he keeps your, he, he keeps, keeps your, he keeps your shoes for you. Yes. All right. Can you please draw this one? One yeah. And There's a star on the shoes, you said. And could you draw a picture of the star for me? The shoe that you, the star. Where is the star on the shoes, you say? The black on star. On the sides. Just on the sides, yeah? Just here, on the ankle. Okay. One moment. So this is the star. But it's upside down, is it? Oh, uh, yeah. Which way? 
like this. So I start again, please. You have to have a little bit of fear to face it, and then um, your fear will be gone. But you feel a bit of fear. Why do you feel a bit of fear? Tell Mama. Look at the you camera. You feel a me. bit of fear because um, it's really dangerous, and um, I ate Look baby, at me. and I ate babies, and I uh, I ate babies before, and I feel really weak about it. Really weak. Not strong. But when I eat hemp, I feel really strong. Tell the camera. I, I feel when I eat hemp, I feel really strong. Really. When you really, eat hemp. Yes, and feel really powerful. But when I eat meat. The first time when we ever ever done it with Papa, the first time when we really all done it, we had feared so much. When you did what? When we killed the baby, first time. And you killed the babies. Yes. You with, yourself. With Papa. Papa, Papa. holding my hand, he helped me, but he told me to cut the baby's head off. But he forced me to. I could. He held so your hand. He hold my hand. Yes. Like what? Show me. So this is my hand on the knife. He put his big hand on, and he and he pushed my hand, and then cut off the head, like that. And then when we got older, we got you more used to it. But then we understood. Then, then, then my mom. But when my mama found out about it, she understood. She told me that that is wrong to do this stuff, kind of stuff. So then I. But then me. Had, had still been used to it, but then we had we had understood that it's wrong. And so, what your decision is? And then our decision, we had we had still a lot of fear in our head. But then, when we read a book called June, it said that fear is the mind killer. So when we heard that, we thought that it was true. It was a decision. It was not really true. But then after. There was a man called Abraham who came to help us. He said that it is true that fear is the mind killer. And then after we and then we and he said we have to face our fear. So then after we faced our fear, look in the camera. The camera is here. And then we and then we after after we and then we faced our fear. So what's you decided? And we, here, Gabriel. and we decided that we shall stop. Or then we shall, we shall come stop Gabriel, come close to us. And we shall stop doing sex. Or it's just going to be disappointing to be pointless. And we just have to, it's just going to have to be going to jail and just go back. So what we're going to do? We're going to protect other babies and, and children, and huh? And, children and, 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 face and save and those children who are involved. Or who have yes. been forced to be involved, right? Yes. yes. And, when you face and, the, and, we, and James was in it. When you face the fear, when you face the fear, you get less fear on you. Okay, now remember this is not uh, an old tape or an old interview. This is 2015. Might have been 2014. 2015 or 2014. Now what I want you to do is watch the interview with their father. Okay, their father's name is Ricky. He is a Hollywood actor. Go ahead and watch his interview here. Um, and this was after uh, they had decided, the judge had decided, that the kids were lying and that the story was baseless. Let's go ahead and watch what kind of man is their father. Has spoken exclusively to us about his ordeal. His two children, aged eight and nine, were forced to invent the allegations by their mother and her new boyfriend. Videos of the children making the false claims were put online and have been viewed millions of times. The allegations of abuse emerged during a long-running family court case in which Ricky, the father, was trying to arrange contact with his children. Family court proceedings, as you know, are normally confidential, but in this case, the judge took the unusual decision to make her judgment public. In it, she exonerated the father and other people said to be involved, stating that the abuse claims were baseless and that those who sought to perpetuate them were evil and or foolish. She described the treatment of the children by their, their mother and her partner as torture. The judge is also aware that Ricky is speaking to us. In this exclusive interview, the 45-year-old father reveals for the first time that he's still receiving death threats from people who continue to believe the claims. We're not using Ricky's surname in order to protect his children. And some of what he describes is harrowing and graphic.
but gives an insight into what he was accused of. He explained when he first heard about the claims being made against him. It was 2014, um, September, and um, I, I, I can't remember how, but I, I, I found out that the police were looking for me. Um, it might have been social services got in touch with me and, 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 uh, and said that you need to go to the police station and, and, I'm, and the children have been taken away from your mom. And I'm saying, why? Why, why, they, why they've been taken away from the mom? What, what's going on? And they won't tell me anything. And I was kind of freaking out a little bit. And what did the police say to you that you'd been accused of? They said, I'm okay with what they said. It was, um, it was, um, it's more of that it had come from my children. Uh, they'd said, um, that I, uh, I'm the leader of a satanic, uh, satanic sex cult, uh, paedophile ring. And there's 100 and plus uh, involvement in this, including CathCast, Cath, the police, uh, social services, uh, the school, um, and I'm the I'm the leader of this. And um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sat across and they're recording this, and I'm sat across from the table from the police officer asking the questions, and. Uh, I don't know how to answer that to... Uh, well, what was your reaction? I mean, did, did well, you... It's difficult to have a, a, a reaction because it's... I was all kind of okay because it's just ludicrous. Yes. It was the fact that my children had said this. Mm. And what else had they apparently told the police that you'd done? Um, they said that I... My, my children, my two children, eight and nine, It's okay. It's okay. They said that um, that I'd um, sexually abused them. And I was selling them to the people. <sighs> my kids are... My kids are wonderful. I'm so sorry. <sighs> and... Um, and... Uh, I, uh, I've been selling them in this satanic cult thing, not just they said by myself, but by the, the name 60, 70, 80 people. And uh, they, um, they said um, that we're killing babies. <laughs> I was shipping them in and uh, we was cooking, uh, we were, they, they were, um, they were showing with their hand movements how I would get their hand on the, on the knives and we would cut the baby's neck, drain the blood, and then drink the blood. And, um, I mean, just, uh, it's just horrific upon horrific uh, detail. Was it abroad, you think, where 
your ex-partner and her new boyfriend filmed your children making these allegations, which yeah. were then uploaded onto the internet? Yeah. What, what they did, uh, they, um, they, um, they beat my kids. Uh, they called licks. In this, you get a spoon and you hit the kid. Yeah, I said a kid. It was in this in this in such instance. It was my two children. Um, and they, he, uh, her, her boyfriend had uh, punched my son in the in the ear. Yeah. And uh, they were told to recount these allegations of what I'd done, or supposed to have done, as well as the, all these other people. And uh, and when they wouldn't, they, they, they said, no, Papa, he didn't do this. And uh, they said, yes, it did. You stupid little <laughs> to my daughter. And uh, sick. Those clips of your children making those allegations, yeah. some people watching us now yes. will have clicked on them. I, well, <laughs> I don't very much so. One video in the first 10 days, uh, nearly 300,000 views, one video. There's now hundreds of them all over. According to the judge involved in this case, they may have been viewed about four million times around the world. Yeah. As a result of the, the spread of these clips yeah. on the internet, people sharing them, what sort of abuse did you receive? Uh, death threats. Um, uh, today, yesterday, still, um, uh, uh, comments on, uh, you know, pedo, whatever, um, I understand. That I, I get it. I want to talk about the recent judgment that was made in your case in the family courts, and the judge very unusually decided to make her judgment public. Yes. Mrs. Justice Porfley said in her judgment, I'm able to state with complete conviction that none of the allegations are true. The claims are baseless. Those who've sought to perpetuate them are evil and or foolish. But there was no nothing inside me going, oh, great, yes, great, I, I, you know, thank God I'm not going to be done. For, none of that, nothing. It was not empty, um, uh, but I was, it couldn't be anything else. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be anything else. And my, my thought was, okay, excuse me, my next thought was, okay, let's, um, uh, Ricky, you've got to go and um, start to, uh, take things forward, getting to see your children more, and basically to uh, uh, eventually be the care of my children. The judge said that your children had been forced to concoct accounts of horrific events by their mother and her partner, and that their stories came about as a result, the judge said, of relentless emotional and psychological pressure and significant physical abuse. And that included hitting, punching, pinching, pushing, and pouring water on them as they were kneeling down, half-dressed. And she used the word torture. She did. Can you imagine what your children have been through? Eight and nine. <sighs> These guys are, um, to me, superheroes. These kids. I tell them when I see them. We're talking about their heads mixed up, messed up. 
Um, just sick. Who? Their mom. I feel really sad for. Do you really? I really do. After what she's put your children and you through? Because there's two children here who are magical. They are amazing children. And sadly, she's not be part of their lives. I think it's worth telling our audience how far it got. Your children were interviewed on three separate occasions by the police. On the first and second occasion, they made the allegations about you. Yes. Abusing them, sexually abusing yes. them, being the leader of this satanic cult. Yeah. Various other adults involved. Yes. Abused in all sorts of places, fast food restaurants, yeah. churches, swimming pools. S swimming baths, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yes. It was on the third occasion that they were interviewed that they revealed, admitted, whatever word you want to use, that it was all made up. Yes. That they'd been forced to say these things by their mother's partner or he'd threatened to hurt them. Yes. When you knew that your children had said these things we've been saying are all made up, what, what did you, how did you respond? Um, this w I felt um, pleased about. Because these are my kids. And um, mom had tried in every way to come up with a new story to stop contact. And be it I was uh, valiant to her, I was, and, and I got domestic, like I've apparently got uh, a background of domestic violence. I don't. Are uh, they online forever? They are. Uh and the judge said it may mean serious humiliation in the years ahead, maybe for the rest of their lives. What can you do as their father to, to try and either protect them from that or ameliorate that somehow? They're gonna have to have um, some help, a lot of help, and um, to, uh, to be in a good environment. Um, positive, living, and, and, and one word is to, to be able to give them a certain understanding of, of sadly, at a younger age than we should need to have to, uh, of, of what this world can be like. Why has their mother done this? Why? That is the, 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 the huge question yeah, here. it is. Um, they will ask why. This is, this, they will ask why. And um, that's going to be a very tough question to, uh, uh, to answer uh, uh, to not two young children, but two young children about their mom. It's about one parent stopping contact. That's all this is. It's unprecedented. I don't get it. And this, and this is why this is not just this case now. This is six years in court before in private proceedings. For me, private proceedings and the, and the courts, on an epic scale, I've let my children down. They, they've assisted in a way. The judge talked about the long-term impact on your children in her judgment, which was made public. And she suggested that the emotional and psychological harm of what was done to your children by their mother, by her mother's boyfriend, is impossible to estimate. She went on, the impact of the internet campaign is likely to have the most devastating consequences for your two children. What might be the long-term impact on them, do you believe? We don't know the answer to this, so um, speculation, whatever. Um, uh, I, with a lot of, a lot of um, uh, patience, um, I really, uh, maybe I'm naive, uh, but I think with a lot of patience, a lot of love, um, it, I'm, I'm hoping, because I, I can't answer for my children, because I don't know their minds, but I think if you can have a good understanding yourself and 
prepare them or educate them is a, maybe a better word to educate them about things and uh, uh, and to give them wisdom and knowledge etc um, in, in, a, in, a, in a caring environment um, I think I truly think that it's going to be okay do you I do yeah I do they're in care at the moment they were taken into care when the allegations surfaced last September yes you're clearly fighting to get them home there is no reason why the children should not come and live with me and they would have a wonderful life as they, as they did back when they were one, two, and three years old before they started when I left uh, their mom. And uh, we can get back to that. How are they now? They are, um, they're very good. Are they? Yeah. But when I started seeing them uh, under supervision, um, they were not good. They were, um, they didn't look well. They were touch and go. What do you uh, mean touch and go? In, in, in their state of mind. Right. Um, as in... Um, their behaviour. Um, they were... Um, just, just, just very difficult with each other. Uh, and, um, but with patience with me and I put them right. And, uh, and give them a lot of love. And, but from the transition from then to now, they, they are two different children. These are, um, they're smiling, they're bright, um, and... Um, there is material related to the proceedings and more allegations still being posted online. Yes. Does that still affect you? Um, Um, it's, um, it does, um, because it's negative, nobody likes, not like this, uh, but hey, hey, I can tell you, if, if, if I've done something wrong, find it, bring it to the table, anything, but ultimately, uh, it's really the children, this is about the children being safe, being well, and being happy, so... And can you imagine a normal life with them at some point in the future? Oh, yeah. It's just going to take a lot of time and patience and love. And uh, um, but I absolutely know it will be uh, back to where it was. There will be a shadow. There'll always be that shadow. But I, uh, it's just going to be a shadow. It's not going to overrule uh, or overwhelm uh, the children in my life and myself's lives. It just won't. It won't. What do you think the impact on you has been? Imagine what the children must have had to do in their own psyche, in their own minds, to eventually give up to beatings and stuff, to say this stuff. What was it that hurt the most of, in terms of those allegations? Knowing that they didn't want to say it in the first place. That's... Uh, How are you now? Your mum, your mother, yeah. I think any uh, mum or father in their right mind uh, want to protect and love. I mean, what a great job. Yes, it's hard. It's a gift. So about how I feel is, is, is getting for the children to feel protected again. It's your priority. Yeah. To feel safe. To be normal. Yeah. To... I mean, these are just fundamentals. Should be. Should be. Why do you want to talk about this to us? That the children um, should not be put through this and, and, uh, 
and parents shouldn't be stopping another parent from seeing their children. Regardless of what goes on or what dynamic goes on between uh, mom and dad, uh, you know, um, and that people, um, other family members who have had their own children named in this uh, wrongly, uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I'm really sorry that they've had to go through this as well. I, again, it's not just myself and my children, but there are other families suffering. And, um, and, uh, and to clear my name as well. Um, Your children's mother is abroad, as far as we know. Yes. Should anything happen to her? Would you want anything? Yeah, yeah. I'm very angry with her. I'm very upset with her. Uh, she needs to come back. She has to stand up in court and, and, and face what she's done. She needs to come back here based on what's happened. I mean, who in their right mind would put videos of their children on the, on the internet? That can't, there's, who? Nobody in their right mind. So there, sadly, sadly, there, there, there are consequences and we've got to face these consequences. Who, who, does it, who do this type of actions? Yeah. Ricky, thank you very much for talking to us. And thank you, Victoria. Thank you. This poor guy must be going through hell. Roger in Edinburgh on text, this poor man and his poor children, I'm shocked to the very core. Karen says, I'm watching the broadcast now, horrendous how someone can be so cruel. My heart goes out to him. Uh, Catherine says, this is so harrowing, I'm watching this now. The poor man deserves everyone to be sympathetic towards him. One anonymous text message, total admiration for him. I hope his life and his children's life will become calm and happy now. Sincere good wishes. And one more, uh, Valeria on email. My son spent seven years trying to get contact with his daughter. He was falsely accused of abuse by the mother and cleared by the judge, police and social workers. But still the judges did nothing to stop the mother or remove the child from her care. He spent his life savings going through the court system. There are thousands of fathers going through this at the moment. It's high time we changed the law and gave fathers custody in cases of false claims of abuse. I'm a grandmother who has to support her son through his misery and who cannot see her own granddaughter. Your contributions are welcome. Our email address is victoria at bbc.co.uk or you can message us on social media. Okay, so now you got to see the father's side of the story. And now let's hear... The mother's side of the story, this is Ella Drapert, and she was calling in while on the run from the police after she had fled the country, and this was her official statement that she made online. Witness statement by Ella Draper from 21st of March 2015. I, Ella Drake, uh, in the public interests, in matters uh, of great public importance, to expose serious crimes of satanic ritual abuse, including rape, sodomy, murder, and cannibalism committed against infants and children in churches and primary schools in the UK. I'm a graduate in MA, History of Art, at Moscow State University. I have an older son from a previous marriage, James, who has a good relationship with his dad, Abraham, my younger children and myself. against their dad, Ricky Dearman, age 46, from whom I am separated since 2007 due to his serious domestic violence and assault on my life. I have been living with my partner Abraham Christie since June 2014, 
who is comparatively much more loving and understanding towards the children than their dad. To my understanding, the father had no contacts with the children apart from three times in June-July 2014 until they informed me that their dad rapes and sodomizes them at the school with plastic willies daily and witnesses other teachers and head teachers to do the same to them during school times. After they made allegations against their dad, teachers um, after they made allegations against their dad, teachers, police, social workers, they were kidnapped and forced into foster care against my wishes, without any credible evidence of harm by me or Abraham against them or any court order after a proper due process in law. on many occasions in August 2014, giving full details of rapes, sodomy, murders, cannibalism and satanic rituals at the Christchurch Primary School. The individuals involved, Reverend Paul Conrad at Christchurch, head teacher Mrs. Katie Forsdyke, teachers Mr. Hollings, Mr. Ridges, Miss Esser, Miss Carn, Miss Marden, Miss Fenoni, Miss Shale, Miss Shaw, Mrs. Battle, Miss Clover, uh, Mr. Williams, Mr. Burnett, Miss Polidan, Mr. Polidano, Miss Wilma, Miss Kirby, and all the rest. Administ administration staff, Miss Stokes, Miss Connock, Miss Kate Unwin. Delivery and canteen staff at the Christchurch Primary School and the Christchurch itself, Mr. Aaron Morris, and all the rest. Teachers who left the school to other schools to spread the cult but still come to the Satanist parties include Miss Reese, Miss Surgeon, moved to Brighton, Miss Clay, works uh, for New French School in London, Miss May, moved to St. Margaret, a Miss Koch moved to Hampstead Parochial as a teacher assistant, Miss Ashton, her children claims, uh, claim that she lives in the tall building next to the school floor before the top one, teachers from other schools, Mr. Hint from Hampstead, uh, from Hampstead Parochial, Mr. Phonix from New Anne School, Mr. Fritz, Miss, uh, Mrs. Fritz, had um, uh, from Fijian's uh, primary school. Twenty special families and their children uh, include Mr. Halaka and Mrs. Tweed, their, Sophie, um, their daughter Sophie, Mr. Cowell, Jackie Warren and their daughter Millie, uh, Millie Cowell and two siblings. Nicole Geretta, Brett Fairhead, their son Max Fairhead, Sam Gunasekera, Andrew Harrison, their daughter Calypso Harrison, Takanefanutsu, Stephen Barbaglia, their son Kai Barbaglia, uh, Maria Sona, and the children Daniel and Raphael Yilmaz, Rebecca Denton, and Adrian uh, Weinbrecht, their son Remy Weinbrecht, Nadia and Gideon Lieberman, their sons Remy and Spike Lieberman, Josie Kirby, Elliot Island, children Amina, Leon, Max Island, Vanessa Fitzpatrick and George Fitzpatrick, their son Clark and sister Lindsay Fitzpatrick. Duke and Lydia Noronia, their son Courtney Noronia, Karen and David Harris, their daughter Katie Harris, Nimet Goldman, Artyom Lamanov, their son Luca Lamanov, Yapa Saji Chamara, and their son Ryan Chamara, Galina and Mark Upson, their son James Upson, Sunita and Tom Baines their son Sebastian Baines, 
Fiona and James Singleton, their daughter Annie Singleton, Sophie and Alan Palling, their daughter Eliza Palling, Jill and Michael Waring, their uh, son Ethan Waring, uh, Kelly and Justin Darby, their daughter Eloise Darby, um, and the younger uh, daughter Lily. Ella Louise now moved to Fitzjohn's Primary School. Bianca and Bore Wessel, their daughter Emily Wessel, Michaela and Daniel Jenkinson Chamberlain, their daughter Augusta Jenkinson Chamberlain, Aaron and Sagit Gavish, their daughter Mia Gavish, Sophie and Neville Dix, their daughters Georgia and Violet Dix, Martin and Julie Jones, their son Jack Jones, Heidi and Charlie Gandhi, and uh, the son Johannes and Massimo Gandhi, Agnieszka Goldsmith, Peter Goldsmith, their daughter Natasha Goldsmith, Claire Winder and Mark Hull, their daughter Georgiana Hull, Tracy Sasover, Ethan Sasover, their daughter Hannah Sasover, Sheena Tresider, Alistair Tresider, and their daughter Poppy Tresider, Yuvraj Desai's parents, Alexandra Beaumont and Daniela Lewis, and their son Alex B, also moved to Fijian's primary school. Alexander Chan, Cecilia Andrew, and their son Alex C. Also social worker, Richard Dancy, Mr. Damon's family members, Linda Williams, his mother, his sister Lisa Dearman, her husband David, children Katie and Max, Mr. Dearman's brother Wayne Dearman, his wife Mary, children Amelia and Alex. The children have stated that the sacrifices are performed in the church building. I believe the children, when they describe how infants are frequently delivered to school, they are raped, tortured, injected in the neck, and their necks are cut with a sharp knife held by them, with their dead hands over the top. I believe my children, when they say that the infant's neck is cut and the infant body uh, is turned upside down to collect the blood into a, bowl, into, into a bowl. The blood is poured into a silver, into a silver uh, goblet and drunk by their dead, then passed to them, their vegans, by the way and then passed to the rest of the children and staff. The infants are being disemboweled. The infant's body is then cooked in the cooker and eaten by the children of 20 special families, Mr. Damon, teachers, parents, for lunch. The children describe how their dad sometimes eats infants twice a day. From the names and details provided, I have no doubts that both my children are telling the truth about the rapes, sodomy, murders and cannibalism at the Christ Church in Hampstead Square, London, NW3, 1AB, at Christ Church Primary School and at least seven other primary schools nearby. I also believe that my children have suffered nightmares, physical, psychological and mental torture by many public servants involved in the trafficking of infants into the UK for human sacrifice and organ harvesting. I believe my children are telling the truth when they describe that their father is the leader of a satanic cult which, tra which traffics infants from all over the world. I also believe that many parents have foster children and abuse the children at the school as part of a satanic cult. I believe this cult has been going on for many decades. I also believe that public servants are doing their utmost to conceal the crimes for fear of losing jobs and lucrative incomes. I am very disappointed that the police have failed to do any investigation into the rapes and sodomy by their dad, teachers and head teachers, and other public servants as well as private individuals despite forensic medical evidence 
that their allegations are true. I believe that Abraham had conducted excellent interviews with the children to encourage them to talk about their painful about their painful experiences so as to put a stop to these crimes against infants and children by public officials and under other individuals when compared to the police interviews. I believe that the police were involved in a cover-up. The police interviewed the children without my presence, refusing me the opportunity to be, to be there while the police kept them up quite late and did not allow the children to give names of the parents and teachers raping the children or the names of the children who were raped. I wish to rely on the video interviews of the children by Abraham, which were confirmed in the police interviews on 5th and 11th of September 2014. The police interview, dated 17th of September 2014, is not reliable because it took place after the children were taken to the care, unaccompanied, unaccompanied by me, in secret, after the incriminating evidence of the plastic willies, the skulls and other evidence, evidences were destroyed. In February 2015, there was, a, uh, there was a skip outside the church with the renovation to tamper with the incriminating evidence of the rapes and murders and satanic rituals. I do not agree, I do not agree with the medical report that Abraham caused Gabriel ear to bleed after hitting him. It was in fact his dad, Mr. Damon, who did it, who did that. Children admitted, um, uh, confirmed this fact. I believe the nine police officers who came to my home on 10th February 2015 were from the same satanic cult of which Mr. Damon is the cult leader, so as to kidnap me to silence me. I give this witness statement on video and on paper because I was driven out of the UK under threat of kidnap or worse. I seek the urgent return of my children to my care, for which I have a care order in my favour. I seek assistance of the various British and Russian authorities and embassies in the repatriation of my children to Russia to live with me and my parents. I seek court or protection for the witnesses from kidnapping by Mr. Diamond's cult members and his agents. I seek the arrest and prosecution of all who perverted the course of justice, including Judge Powerfully for treason. I seek the shutting down of both Barnet and Camden councils for the active participation and cover-up of satanic rituals in their schools, nurseries, churches, leisure centers, office buildings, Involving, involving hundreds of their staff and agents, including police. Uh, uh, from, to th uh, from 19th Geneva Convention, uh, uh, from, to th uh, from 1930, a number of corporate governments, such as the United Kingdom, and therefore all companies, corporations, register there under, above named, above named, are operating illegally to their bankruptcy and insolvency, including employees and agents. This is evidenced by the Gold Standard Act Amendment Bill 200 to, uh, 227 from 21st of March 1931, suspended, and the uh, subsequent Uniform Commercial Court Code, UCC International Law, www.law.cornell.edu forward slash UCC. This is a final notice of acceptance for the remedies sought in paragraphs 18 to 22 about failing, which this is a notice of, diso of dishonor in the commercial lien under Uniform Commercial Code, uh, com Code Notice of Dishonor, UCC. 3-503, UCC 3-504, and UCC 3-505, without prejudice, UCC 
1.308 in the sum of um, 732 billion pounds budget for 2014. See www.icj2.webs.com forward slash Lian for the dishonor to the UK public in the embezzlement of public money, which becomes sevenfold in accordance with biblical law in the dis um, if the dishonor continues after 30 days. Leviticus 26, 26 verses 28 and Proverbs 6 verses 30 to 31. Hi, before we start, I'd just like to yeah. tell you everyone who's here yes. and tell you where we are. Yeah. Is that all right? Yes. My name's Steve and I'm a policeman and I work here at this police yes. station. The other lady sitting there, yeah. her name's Cleo yeah. and she's a police lady yes. and she works at this police station. Yes. Um, we've both got different jobs today. Yes. Cleo's job is what we call the controller. Yeah. And the reason. Yeah, I know what controller is. Go on. Tell me, what's the controller? Mm, it's like a police controller, it like controls everything. Uh, well, in for this, her job is to control everything that's going on there. So to make sure that she can see what we're doing, and also make sure all that machinery is working okay. Yes. So that's why we call her the controller, because she's controlling yes. the equipment. Yes. And my job is to speak to you, really. Yes and ask you some questions and also yes. listen to what you've got yes. to say okay and near the end um cleo and i might pop outside and just sort of see if there's anything i've missed yes. or anything else i need to ask you yes. would that be all right yes. yeah Sorry. Sorry. yeah i know yeah it's fine don't worry and when we're talking yes. there are some rules about what we talk about yes first rule yeah. is that I wasn't there so I need yes. you to explain as much detail yes. everything that happened yes. is that okay yes. and if there's something that I ask you and you don't understand yes. please tell me just say that I'm not sure what you're asking yes. and that might go the other way as well if there's something that you say and I don't understand yes. I might ask the question again or try and ask it in a different way okay yes. is that alright yes. And if I ask you a question and you don't know the answer, yes. just tell me yes. and just say, I don't know. And that's fine. Yes. I, don't, I don't want you to guess. And that's yes. really important. Everything you say must be the truth. Yes. And that goes on to the next rule. Yes. And that rule is everything we talk about is the truth. Yes. And it can't be a lie. Yes. And because I've never met you before, and it may be that someone watches this who's never met you. So I just want them to make sure that they know that you know the difference yes. between a truth and a lie. And that I know you know the difference. Yes. So what I'll do, I'll do a little example. Yes. And then you tell me if I'm telling the truth or a lie. Could you do that? Yes. See this piece of paper here. You saw, you saw Cleo pass it to me. So this paper belongs to her. And she's given it to me to look after. And say I draw on this picture. Draw this, draw a smiley face, draw some hair. Cleo comes to me and says, who's drawn on that paper? And I say to her, I don't know, it wasn't me. Would I be telling the truth or a lie? Lie. That's correct, it's a lie. So what would the truth have been? Um, if you didn't draw. No, if you, if, you say, if you say I did draw. That's correct, yes. And why do sometimes people lie? Because they don't want to get in trouble. That's sometimes the reason why you don't want to get in trouble and that that's quite a good reason to give and that goes on to the next thing I need to tell you really is that whatever you tell us in here you're yeah. not in trouble yeah. okay so as long as you tell us the truth yeah. then there won't be any problems yeah. okay and if you use any rude or swear words yeah. that's okay as well because we need you to tell us everything that you can remember and if that means you need to say those words yeah. it's okay all right. And this paper, although it does belong to Cleo, it's for you to use. And that's yes. because if something's easier to draw, yes. then you can do that. You don't have to ask, you just go ahead and draw or write 
something's easier to write okay um we're obviously here to talk. I haven't asked you your name have I and what your date yeah. of birth is Old. Yeah, eight. And what school do you go to? Christchurch School Primary School. No, Christchurch Primary School. Christchurch Primary School. Yeah, it's in ha in Hampstead. Oh, okay. So, and tell me about Christchurch. Yeah. Is that you? What year are you in there? Year four, but I'm changing into year five. No, I, I was in year three, but I'm yeah. changing into year two, year five. I was supposed to be in year five right now. What about year four? How come you're missing that one? Um, because I've got a problem in my school. Have you? Yeah, my, da my dad is well, my dad is friends with the whole school. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay, so how's he friends with the whole school? They met. Where did they meet? They, when I was with my dad, they met, they met, they met, then the Miss Wilma, and when I was in year one, I had a teacher called Miss Wilma, and then um, they met somehow when I wasn't there, but and then they got friends and then Miss Wilma introduced Mr Hollings to your four teacher which is teaching my sister and then um, when, uh, when Papa, when um, Mrs Wilma introduced Pop, um, Papa yeah. um, to um, when, um, 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 when Miss, uh, um, Miss Wilma introduced um, Papa and told, tells Papa about Mr Hollings and um, Miss w Wilma told Mr Hollings about Papa then I met Mr Hollings and Papa and then they um, became best friends. Okay, so... And then he introduced uh, Miss, uh, Miss uh, Regis and Miss Cecil, the assistant teachers. Wow. And then they're up and up and up. Like, all the teachers are best friends are best friends. Oh, okay, so yeah. your papa yes. was friends with your year one teacher. Yeah. And um, because of that, yeah. he met the other teachers in the school. No, he had a friend called Mr Holling. He had a friend called Mr. Hollins, yeah, who's yeah. the year four teacher. Yeah, he's going to be my year four teacher. He's going to be your for year four teacher. Yeah. And how did he meet Mr. Hollins? Oh, Papa. Yeah, Papa. Because I'm um, uh, Miss, uh, Mil Miss Wilma. Your year one teacher. Yeah, so when they, um, yeah. Miss Wilma and Papa meet each other, Miss Wilma introduced Papa um, yeah. um, to Miss. No, um, um, Papa introduced Miss Hollings to yeah. Papa, so Papa yeah. understood who Mr. Hollings was. Then, um, then Miss Wilma introduced Papa to Mr. Holling, uh, to Mr. Hollings. Okay. Then Mr. Hollings knew who Papa was, and then they met once, and then they become best friends. Oh, I see. And how do you know they're best friends? They talk to each other. They tell me that my best. Um, my dad tells me that BFFs it means best friends forever. Okay, so your dad told you and him and the year four teacher yes. are BFFs. Yeah. Okay, and when did he tell you that? He told uh, when he was doing the sex to me. He does sex to me. What does that mean, sex? What do you mean? He touches me in a private. Um, he. He um, he touches me in a private room. Um, he sticks a plastic willy yeah. in my bottom, and it bleeds down. Okay, so yes. So your dad does sex to you, yes. and what that means is he touches your private. Yes. And put a plastic willy in my bottom. In your bottom. Yes, yeah, big fat one. Okay, so how do you know it's a plastic willy? Um, I f I felt it before. What do you mean you felt it before? I felt tell the willy. He told that he showed um he he let me felt the willy. Okay, so tell me what that looks like. This willy. It looks like a real willy, but, oh. um, but it's plastic. Okay, and what else can you tell me about it? Um, I, I'll tell. There's an order of the willies. Of the plastic. There's an order of them, high up and low down. And what does that mean? So um, brown is the lowest. It's the third. But then second is the golden colour of right. the skin, and then it's white. White is the highest. Okay. So how many plastic willies are there? And millions. He he buys them and he also makes them. He's he he makes them in his shed. He melts the plastic and then starts making it. 
And how do you know that? I've seen him make them before. And he has a friend called Daniel and they make it. Right, so who's Daniel? Daniel, who's Daniel? is a um, He's a um, he got from, he got um, brown hair. Yeah. And got white skin and he's really mean to me. He pushes me every time. Okay. He calls me an idiot. Okay. He kicks me. He kicks, he kicks me in the privates. Okay. We spoke about a lot there, so I just want to take it all bit by bit. Yeah. So, the first thing you said was about this plastic willy. And you said about three colours yeah. and they're three, three sets, did you say? Yes. Golden is the like. Got like it's like um like it's like this look, look like this look gold, silver and bronze. So just like that. Right. So bronze is um bronze is black color, skin black. Right. Okay. And then and gold. Tell me is about that one first of all. So the skin color black willy. Yes. Tell me about that. What everything you know about it's this. It's the third. Yeah. So it's like bronze. Right. Okay. So it's skin color black. You said. Yes. And. You say it looks like a real willy. Yeah. And what else can you tell me about it? It's really big and fat and it hurts really much. What do you mean, big like, and fat? What does big and fat mean? It's really fat and it's... Show, can you show me that shape like again? That's that. Like okay, that. so it's that fat. Yeah. And then how long is it? No, they have different size. What do? My, my, my dad got the biggest size. Because my dad is the boss of every single thing. Right, okay. If we just talk about this this yeah. black colour this black skin coloured willy. Yeah. So you showing it's it, yeah. you show me a shape, how big it was. Yeah. And then you said and then so how long is it? So that's you show really me that shape. Really long, like that long. So it's that long. Yeah. And you show me how wide it is. And then what does he do with it? And he sticks it in my bottom and it and then after it, when he takes it out it bleeds. So how does he stick it in your bottom? He um, pushes inside my bottom. Okay. Yeah and then when he takes it out it bleeds my bottom. Okay. So when did when was the last time this happened? No, um, uh, um, I'll tell him why he started doing it when I was a baby. Okay. But when was the last time it happened? The last time it ha ever happened um, is um when I um is um when I when I stop the the last day of school. The last day of school. Yeah. So tell me about the last day of school. Yeah, we had a big party because it's the last day of school. Okay, so it's last day of school. We've had a big party. Yeah, at school, and my dad goes to the school, and pa my dad doesn't let my dad doesn't lets me learn anything. He doesn't let me have education. Okay, so you're at school. You said there's yeah. a big party. So yeah. who's at the party? Mr. Hollings. He's a he's the year four teacher. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. In an old teacher, um, and there's a um lady. And uh, when I was in year two, the mm. my old teacher. When I was in year two, she she moved school, yeah. and her name is Miss Sergeant. And she got blonde hair. And she got white skin, and she's from Brighton. Right. I mean, so she's from south from north um London. Is it how's it called? It's that language they say glass. Like, um, glass, glass instead of glass they, they say, say glass, glass wrong glass yes, glass okay yeah yeah I know no, so she's got an accent like that where she says glass glass yeah okay and but she says glass but she says on my language or my like accent on North I can't remember it might be North London I haven't seen her for a long time it might be North London or South London and right now she's in Brighton okay she's from somewhere and she says things no, so it might be South or North okay. London okay. yeah England okay so um, she was there Mr Hollings was there you said yes. your dad was there yes the head teacher does it sticks a really in my bottom um, the head teacher's name is Mrs. For Mrs. Forstake. Forstake. Mrs. Forstake. Mrs. Forster. F O S. No, Mrs. Forstake. Forstake. Okay, yeah. Mrs. Forstake. And her first name is Kate. Kate. Yeah. Okay. And she got a sister, which is the second, 
with the second head teacher and her name is M Mr. Mrs. Ungwin. Okay. And it's and the sisters and it's really strange what her her first name is also Kate too. Two sisters called Kate. Yeah, really strange. That is confusing. I bet for their mum it was confusing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard they were saying, Mrs. Fawcett told me it's her sister. Are they real sisters? Or yeah. Do they have the same it. second name? Yeah, they have the same second name. Well, um, they don't have, they don't look the same, no. But Miss Angwin, she would have to put some makeup on her. Does she? Okay, so you're having this party at school. Were there any children there at the party? Yes. So, children at the party? Yeah, all the children do sets to me. All the children? Yeah. Yeah, and I uh, do you know how much children there is in my um, in school? Um, two hundred, two hundred children. And two, all two hundred children do sex. Yes. Years. And also, other schools are involved. And other schools as well. Yeah. And how many? How long have you been going to that school? Since uh, when I was five years old. And how old are you now? I'm eight years old. So for three years you've been going to the school? No, yeah, for three years, yeah. Okay. So you're having the party, yeah. and then what's happened at the end of the party? Um, so um, my dad kills babies and he eats the meat. Okay, well, let's just talk about yeah. the party day, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, so the party, yeah. what was the party like? I don't like the party. Why not? They touch me. Who? They kick me. My front privates to hurt me. So um, when they um, when they stick a uh, big plaster really in my bottom, and when it bleeds, if I cry, um, he um he, um, he like do you know those um, um spaghetti spoons? Like yes. the, yeah? yeah. Um, those metal ones. If I cry, he hits me on the head with it. Okay. But if I cry more, he hits me again. But if I cry more, um, the my the nurse teacher, Miss Marden, yeah. she injects in me, and I a sleeping what injection on my neck, yeah. and then I fell asleep straight away. Okay. Um. What I'd like to go about, I just want to talk about just the party yeah. day. So I don't want to hear about anything else. Yeah other than that day okay so all the yeah. stuff that's happened on different days yeah. we'll talk about we will talk about i promise but yeah. not until after we've spoken about yeah, the party right day now, yeah. exactly yeah. perfect so you're at the party you said you didn't really like the party no i hate it why do you hate the party they hit me they do all kind of stuff and i'm a who's vegan that? i'm a who's vegan that? what who's that you said they hit me who's they who hit you my dad all the teachers, my dad's friends. And where did they And also you? the parents do it too. And, um, and, the, and they're all really mean to me, really mean. The parents. Why are all these people so mean to you? They like being mean to me. I why? Know. Why? What's What have you done for them to... I don't nothing. understand. Why Why would they all be so mean to you? I did nothing. Okay. So and pa my dad made up a really strange religion. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that. Remember what we're going to talk yeah. about to, at the moment. What we're going to talk about. Remember what what we're talking about. Yeah. What? When we're talking about what happens at the party. Right? At the party, yeah. So yeah. you said they hit you. Tell me exactly what people hit you. Um, there's one that my dad got social services and my my dad got friends yeah and they come over too right. we're not talking about the party are we tell me yeah. about the party who who hit you at the party and the parents do um should i tell you the name of the parents were the, the parents at the party yeah and should i tell the children names why was your mum not at the party for the parents for the party she doesn't do the sex to us was she at the party? Yes, yeah, she know. No. Why wasn't she at the party? Why didn't she get invited? Because she doesn't touch us. She doesn't do sex to us. Why wasn't she at the party? Because she doesn't do sex to us. I know she doesn't do sex to you, so, but... And also because so, she's a vegan. Right. But that's not a reason not to go to a party, is it? Yeah. 
No, you know there is a reason. A reason because there's only no there's because she because she's a vegan. There's an, um the party's non-vegan. So it's a non-vegan party. Yeah. So why was you allowed to go then? No, I'm allowed to go because um, they had me and they can do whatever they want with me. But it was I'm a non-vegan party. I don't understand. How but I'm a vegan. Like a... Yeah, and you said. And my dad is a vegan. But he lied to my mum about him being vegan. So I don't understand, right? Your mum wasn't allowed to the party because she's a vegan. Yeah, and But she's you and your MP dad were vegan. allowed to the party, but you're vegan as well. Yeah. So I don't, I don't understand why. How comes? Because you, if we, if we were with mum, we'd have not went to that party. Well, if we were with my mum. So your mum hasn't gone to the party. No. So. What, but what? if we but we are, were alone with our dad, so we could went to the party. We did. Okay, so that party. Yeah. And what time did the party finish? No, um, the party's for six hours. Six for the, a, from what time does it start then? It starts from the morning. I'm not sure which kind of uh, time in the morning. From the morning, it's like school time. Right, okay. Instead of lessons, instead of literacy, yeah. numeracy. Yeah. Science, we had a sex, party. party, and we ate babies. And my dad, um, he, he lied to my mum about being vegan. Okay, so you've had, there's this party. Yeah. So where is the party held in the school? In the school, in the church and school. It's in the church and the school? Yeah. So whereabouts in the church and whereabouts in the school? In the school, part? in the church there's a blip. Like, um, seat, 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 and here's a little road, and there's a, like, a big, okay. like, um, like, one, two, like, three stairs, like, um, it's really big, mm. and then we dance there. Yeah, so you're dancing, what sort of, da why was you dancing? What music were you listening to? We don't put music on, but we just dance. We just put, dance, okay. Yeah, we put all okay, kind so of music songs. Okay, so you're dancing, and who else was dancing? Many of the children. Everybody does. Okay. Everybody does the sex and. Right. And what is the sex? They uh, they touch me in the privates. They tell me to lick the privates. Who says that? My dad's, my, the teachers, everybody's. Okay. So that's happened. And we didn't want to do that, but my dad made us do it and he forced us. Okay. My, but my mum doesn't do it. No? Okay. But my family doesn't do it. O only my father does it. Okay. So this happened at the school. Yeah. And then you said there's a bit where your dad put the brown coloured willy, plastic willy. No, but mom. my dad, my dad doesn't have a brown one. No? What one? He's the, um, he's the boss of the whole religion, the whole culture. He's a, like the boss. And what's this religion called? It's not called nothing. It's not called nothing. No, we eat babies, we kill them, and my dad's uh, my uh, and this is um this is what my dad tells us to do. Look, my dad kill babies, and we help him kill babies. But our dad forces us to. Okay. But we never kill babies. Never. Never okay. on our own. Never. Okay. So what? After six hours, the party's finished. Yeah. And where did you go? What after, after, after the party, where did you go then? Back to your house, to my mum's house. Your mum's house. house. Yeah. Okay. Because it's home time. And did you tell her about the no. black willy, the black willy no, gun in your bum? I'm too scared. They were, if they find out, they hurt me. Really so why mind. have you been able to tell now? Because um, Abraham, um, I was doing really strange behaviour. Really like what? What's that? I was hitting my sister. I was okay. Yeah, I was behaving. I was hitting her really violent. I pulled her hair okay. and I smashed her for onto the ground yeah. from my van. And my sister like took a big frame, and she threw it into my head, and I was bleeding okay. everywhere. Okay. So you two were fighting. Yeah, really much. Okay. And then what happened? And then my mom got really stressed. Really stressed. Um, right. So when did you tell them about what's happening? 
when um, Abraham started living with us. When did he start living with you? Yeah, um, from four years. No, not four years, four months ago. Okay. In so, May. Maybe so that, May, so that's, and you said, but you said it happened on the last day of school. Yeah. So that was after May. Yeah. So why didn't you tell someone then that this happened at school? No, 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 no. I didn't tell first. My um, why not? Abraham found out. How did he find out? Because me and my sister were touching each other. My dad tells us to touch each other in the privates. So you and and so did, did you tell him or did he guess? Abraham. Who? Did Abraham? T did you tell Abraham or did Abraham guess? He caught us. No, but he's, so he's caught you and your sister doing things you shouldn't be. Yeah. Then he asked me, who taught you to do this? Um, who oh. done this? And then we were, but then we told him it was a dad. And then... Okay. And then, um, um, but we were still really scared, really scared. We were still, we were really scared of him. Okay. So what do you think after that? Let's watch... As she does her interview, and I'll see you shortly after. I'll tell you everyone's name so you're clear who it is. My name's Steve, and I'm a policeman, and I work here at Barnet Police Station. This lady here, her name's Cleo. Cleo and Steve. Cleo she and work Steve. With, um, Jean Clement. I know, I haven't met Jean Clement, but we do similar jobs, but he works in a different part of London, does I think he works... South. Some, south yeah, somewhere else. He, so, Wood I've Wood. never met him, I've never met him, but he does work, he is a policeman. Yes, he's a sergeant. Oh, is he? He's a police sergeant, yeah, is yes. he? Oh, okay. And Cleo's a police lady, and her job is the controller today. And that means she controls everything that's going on there, making sure it's all working, okay? And if you see, she had a pen and paper and she might make some notes because she might want to ask something at the end. Do you want a pen? No. Um, and then from then, we'll just, we'll talk. So that leaves one other person here, and that's you. Can I just ask you to say your full name please what's your first name Elisa Elisa well my real my real name is yeah. Grace Grace but my name that that, that my name is Elisa Gareva Dearman but my second name is Grace as I said so Alicia Grace Gareva Dearman Dearman okay so there's four names you've got yes. okay so is and have you got a middle name is Grace your middle name yes and no other names? No, it's Grace, Grace. Okay, perfect. So, Alicia, Grace, Gariva, Dearman. Yes. Okay. And how old are you, Alicia? I'm nine years, I was nine, I'm nine years old right now. Yeah. And, so do you prefer to be called Alicia or Grace? What one? Alicia. Alicia. I'm used to being called Alicia. Yeah, Alicia, okay. I'm being called uh, Grace. No? Okay. So, what I'd like to do is just go through some of the rules and just explain today's date. It is it's half past ten in the evening and it's the 5th of September. And we, as I said, we're here at Barnet. And what we're going to talk about, I wasn't there. So because I wasn't there, I need you to explain in as much detail everything you can remember. Okay, so just really think about everything that you can remember and tell me about it. Okay? If I ask you something and yeah. you don't understand what I'm saying, yeah. tell me, yeah? And I'll look at a different way, okay? And that goes the other way. If you say something and I'm not really sure what you mean, I might ask you to say it again or I might ask the question in a yeah, different way. Or something. Yeah, I might say, well, what does that mean? Or what yeah. can you tell me? And so that's that one, really. If I ask you a question and you don't know the answer, that's fine. Just tell me you don't know, okay? And that's because I want you to tell everything the truth, okay? Don't, I don't want you to guess. If you don't, if you don't know, just tell me, yeah, right. okay? And that leads to the next thing. We must tell the truth, and that's you and me. So if I ask you something, 
you've got to tell me the truth. And if you ask me something, I'll tell you the truth. Shall we agree that, shall we? Yeah? What I want to do is just make sure you understand the difference between truth and a liar. Okay? I've had this paper. Truth is, and I say, it's just opposite. Truth is what? Truth is opposite. Opposite well, to well, what? Well, lie is opposite. Truth. Lies opposite to the truth. So, right, if I tell you this, if I've drawn this picture here, yes. this is on on Cleo's paper, she sees this picture yes. and she says, who drawn that? I said, yes, it was me that drew it, I'm sorry. Would that be the truth or a lie? That would be truth. That would be the truth. So what would have been a lie? No, I did not draw it or somebody else, I don't know who. That would be a lie, yes. So. Why do sometimes people tell the truth? Uh, sorry, tell the lie. Why do sometimes people tell a lie? So, because maybe sometimes they do. Maybe it's personal, I don't know. What do you mean? So maybe, like, if, I don't know, so why would they stay, say a lie? Yeah, why would they maybe say a they lie? Maybe they don't want you to know about that. Yeah, sometimes they, yeah, they don't want to tell you about it. Yeah. Maybe they don't want to do, they don't want to be in trouble, they don't want anyone to be in trouble. That's, a, that's, a, that's also a good reason, that sometimes people lie, that's true, that people don't want to get in trouble. And in here, you won't get in trouble, okay? As long as you tell the truth, you will not get in trouble for anything you've said or done, okay? As long as you tell us now, okay? Is it, yeah, and I promise that. And I say, I, I've got to tell the truth as well. And from that, um, I need to say that that includes if you use rude words or things like that. In here, you're allowed to use those rude words, okay? Your, your mummy knows what we're going to be talking about and knows that you're here. And she's, she won't tell you off if you need to use those sort of words. I'd rather you use those rude words to tell me exactly what happened and try and make it polite and you miss out things that have happened. So I don't understand. Well, say for example, me and Cleo were having a conversation and you heard Cleo swear. Yes. Right? Do you understand that bit? Yeah. So me and her talking, Cleo swore while she was talking to me. She yes. said a rude word. And then I say to you, did you hear what Cleo said? And I say, tell me what Cleo said. I'd rather you tell me everything, including the swear words. So I should, I should yeah. say... Yeah, say like I said, oh, Cleo said, oh, oh this camera's shit. Say she um, said that. And I say to you, what did Cleo say? I, yeah. I don't want you to say, oh, Cleo said the camera's rubbish. I want you to say, Cleo said the camera was shit. Uh, Do you see? Yeah, so I should... So don't try and make it polite. Yes. Say exactly. Is that clear? Yes, yeah, so I shall say what like, exactly. Exactly. Perfect. Well done. Thank you. Um, so you've come here with your mum, and do you live with your mum? Do you? Yes, yeah, I live with her. And who else do you live with? Well, that's just my mum. I live with only my mum. No just, one else. No. Nope. No other I family. I live house. with my dad. No. What about brothers? No, nope. I live with my. Your mum? Yes, and I we're on it we when three. Three of you? Yes. Okay. And my big <laughs> really like he he did he know he knows this about this, but no, he doesn't really like doing it. What do you mean? So my big brother James. Yeah, James. How old is James? He's about he's about seventeen, but he doesn't he doesn't he's not he doesn't is he's not really included because he doesn't really live with us. Oh, okay, so where but, does he uh, but live? he he lives with his dad, his like, other dad. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, li he doesn't live with us, but oh, he, okay. he 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 comes to visit us on Saturdays. Oh, I see. So is he your half a brother? Is he? Is no, he is my brother. He is my brother. Brian. So it's just that his dad is married to another two. So my mum married two men. Yep. So first is when when my big brother was born. Yeah. And after she broke up with his name is Will. Yeah. He broke up with him. Yeah. And after him, she didn't marry, but she she like she loved Ricky, which right. is my dad. Yeah. So then they so then we were born. So then we she Got broke it. up. So your dad is Ricky. 
is Ella Draper. And, but you... My brother, yes. And is he the son of Will, or is he the son of Ricky? Son is Will. So you live with your mum. Yes. And do you ever get to see your dad, do you? My my dad, Ricky. Ricky. Do you ever yes, get yes. to see him? Every, yeah? two, every two said I do, but actually, in fact, he lies to my mum and he says that he just sees, he just sees us every two Saturdays. And do you That's see him every two Saturdays? That's the court orders. Okay. So do you see him every two Saturdays? Nope. We see him every single day. Every single day, and how do you at do school, that? He comes to our school. Oh, does he? And what does he do at the school? He does set, does sex to us. He he kills babies there. Right. We eat babies. We drink their blood. Okay. Because this is how we, we do it. So like on Wednesdays, Wednesdays is the the most special, busiest days, special right. day. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll start. We'll take it little bit by little bit. So, you say your dad comes to your school every day? Yes. What does that mean, he comes that to your school every day? So that means he comes, like, whenever we have school on Saturdays, yeah. he comes and sees us there. Whereabouts does he come and see you? My school, Christchurch Primary School. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's where, that's where we, that's where, um, the area we live, we live next to yeah. Christchurch Primary School. Yeah. Because we live in Five Patterson Road, and then after, he comes to our school. Okay, so who drops you off at school in the morning? My mum. So you get dropped off at school? Yes. When you get dropped off at school, what do you yes. do then? So then they check if the coast is clear, if my, my mum's not there or anything around the area. Okay. So you go, Mr Morris, the, the, the caretaker, yeah. he goes around the school, uh, school areas and checks if my mum is there or anything, like if the coast is clear. Right. And after, after they call my dad and say that, Everything's all right. Um, my mom is not there. It's it's all clear. How do you know that? Because that's because they got the number of my dad. And how do you know that? Because I heard them talking to my dad. And it was exactly my own my, my da own dad's voice. Exactly. So where were you when you heard this caretaker speaking staff to room, dad? Staff room. Staff room. Why were you in the staff room? Because that's where they do sex to me. Then. So, so you've got to school. Right? Yes. You've got to school. You might, you've got. How did you get to school? So, so, so we just go and buy a car though. So you go by car yes. with your mum. Yes. Get to the school. Yes. So you get out of the car. Yes. And where do you go first of all? So then, so this is where we park, and there's this little path. You go upstairs, and then there's a little path, and then here's the big, the, our school. Yes. So then you just walk in, but the, the, that's where the infants are. But you have to go further along, and that's where the junior, because right. I'm in junior. So then you, when you go d in the junior, there's downstairs and then there's, t and then there's a big playground and then there's this uh, office and s or the whole school okay. there. So you go into the school, in the infant's park, yes. and you walk around to the primary Yes, so then at the front, when you just come in the room, okay. there's this, this an office, just office just at the front. There's a door going in the, in the hallway where we do assembly. Yeah. And on the right, no, on the left, you go in and there's this m the headmistress office there, okay. and then the staff toilet, and it's just this like where the teachers go and do yeah. the ty typing and work. Yeah. And there's upstairs there's your four and your five. Yeah. And after just like I'm in your four, so in your four mm -hmm. there's just there, and then your five is there on that side, okay. and the staff room is just at the front of us. Okay. So just walk in the staff room and then there's this tea, there's this just just kitchen and then there's a sofa and that's where we okay. do sex. So why do you go in there first of all? Why don't you just go to class? No, we would go to class sometimes too, yes. Right, so we go so to class sometimes, okay. yes. Okay, so you go to class? Yes. Okay, and then what happens when you get and to class? And then they, they got this, in my classroom, they got this little door at the back, right at the back yeah. of the classroom. They got a little door and it's just like a tiny little room. It's all stuffed with sweets, prizes, especially to pay the children with sweets to do sex to them. Right. Yeah, so they give sweets as much as they like. Yeah. So they so they give sweets so till they're like full, they're, they're, they're done. So they, because while they eat the sweets, they do sex to them. 
So like they pay them sweets, and oh, and then after they do what they want them to do. Okay. Because they will because I would do Who? children. What children? What children? So there, there's there's load there's children from our school, two hundred children in our yes. school. But it's not like all. Okay. Uh, there's twenty what special ones? children. Tell who are these twenty there's, special children? There's Millie. She's a brown girl. Millie who? Millie Cowell. Millie Cow. Yes. Okay. So how do you know she's one of the twenty special children? Because hey. she's because I know because she comes and she, they do sex to her, mostly. Who's they? Who's they? The teachers, the parents, the staff. Every single teacher or specific teachers? No, every single. The whole school does it. The whole. The whole school and we got our own church yeah. too. So we, so because they do the, because after we, as I said, we kill babies, we drink their blood, we eat them. Okay. But then after we, we so, the social services who are in it, yeah. they so they go to families or so they go to families. So the families can't afford, so they get a baby, but they can't look after it or anything. They can't buy food or they, they can't buy clothes, they can't look after it. So they sell, the families who sell their children, Yeah. so the social services get them, they say they get them to a foster home, but they don't. They get the babies or the children, and then they then they put, they get Miss Marden, yeah. our nurse in our school, she injects the child or baby. In the, in the neck just here though. Right, okay, and how do and you know that? Because I saw her doing it. I saw her doing it. How did you see her doing it? Because I saw her in the staff room. She was getting this, 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 so she got this okay. injection. And she did, then, so the baby was there, it was just sit, sitting on the table. Right. And I was just laughing there. And after she just injected her, and it was just like, it just like, it was like, it was slowly went to sleep. But not like, not just like a thud. Not like just fell straight away. They just they put because it was like it was like it, was, it looked like it was slowly moving down like that. Right. Yes. Yeah, so okay. then after. So they, baby's gone to sleep. Yes, and then, and then after they get put put on this bit, they um get the baby to hang it upside down. And, and how's they hang yes, over the string. From where? On a on a wall because there's this little this this little like um. Uh, so it is a screw, and as they put a string, it's like a circle string, yeah. tied to the legs, hang it up, so down, and then they get a special the knife they use for the cutting the baby's head off. So you know this big, big, big ones like this, this big Chinese ones yeah. which you chop up coconut and stuff. Right. Yes, they get cleavers, aren't they? No. Okay. Um, I don't know what they're called. You've described it well enough. Yes. Okay. So then, they sh because our dad, he forces me. But because we can't, we're not strong enough to cut the baby's head off. He does us to hold the knife, and he puts his hand at the top of our hand, and he helps us to cut the baby's head off. Because he's learning, he's he's teaching me and Gabriel, so when we're older, to do it to our own children and do this kind of stuff to our own and children. where is it this that happens? Um, uh, the church, the kitchen in our church. The kitchen in the church. Yes, they okay. got... Yes. So, right, this string, tell me about this string. So it's, this, it's just like, it's not just like, just a thin, normal string. It's a bit thick, it's like maybe that, that thick. Okay. And they tie it around, okay. like in a circle. Right. Hang it up on the on the. On Where the do they tie it to on the baby? So it's like on on legs. So they put the legs right. together, tie it on. Yeah. And so it's like one string around, and then one string attached. Yeah. And it's hanging upside down. Yeah. They get the 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 the, the, the knife, but they don't just cut it off absolutely. This is still on. So it's they slide the head off, but it's still hanging on. So the Okay. Yes, and then the, there's a big white bowl on yeah. the floor, and the blood drips in, and then they, we put, we put it, pour it in a, a big silver goblet. Okay, so where's this white bowl? Where do they get the white bowl from? They bought they bought the big white bowl. From where? From there's an, an any shop any white. Bowl. And where do they but where do they get the bowl? Where did they get the bowl from this time? Any any shop any shop like this. So you know um. But you obviously didn't see them get the bowl. No, I don't know. I don't know what shop. But I think 
I think they went to this, uh, what is it called, in next to Brank Cross. Okay. It's near. It's near Brank Cross. And um, where where is it kept? At the, at the in church? a cupboard. In a cupboard. What cupboard? There's this just just like a like a like a normal cupboard. So it's like. Where near like a cupboard, cupboard, like a kitchen cupboard. Right, okay. So and where is this kitchen cupboard? There's a, there's a kitchen in the church and right. in a school. Right, there's a kitchen, yes. in, I've got it, this kitchen. Yes. So in the kitchen, yes. the baby's hanging up. Yes. And you said that there's a white yes, bowl so then, yes. and it's kept in a yes. cupboard. So what cupboard is it kept in? It's just a, it's just a wooden cupboard, so it's like... Okay. If I was to go in the kitchen, how would I find it? Tell me how I can find it. So it's spot. like it's not as big as this room. It's yeah. much bigger, much okay. bigger. Right. So it's just like maybe just around, just around on this wall, okay. just around here. There's this little cupboard. Right. It's not little. It's kind of, kind of medium size. Right. There's a medium cup. So where's the door? And so you, you describe yes, the, kitchen. the door is a bit like that, a bit right. like that. So the Doors over there. Yes. Then you said the cupboard would be in the other corner. Yes. Have I got that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And is the cupboard up up in the top or down yeah. on the bottom? No, it's at, at the top, it's like in the top. middle, like that. Yes. And you say it's wooden. What colour wooden? Just normal brown wood. Okay. And there are any other cupboards around it? Yes, there is uh, some other cupboards like around the walls. So you know, like so lots and lots and lots. So it's just a few. If I come in. How can I go to that cupboard without making any mistake with the one of the other cupboards? So, like, if you come in a room, here's this, this sink, and here's this big yeah. table, yeah. and you're still, there's this little, this, as I said, a cupboard. Okay. So you see this frame, and it says yeah. wish. Yeah. It's just, it's like a bit bigger that, than that size, yeah. and it's just that, a bit that colour of wood, a bit brown, yeah. and then it's just this cupboard, and it just got the normal handles, and then just... Like there's just wooden handles. Okay. So you have to open, and there's this white bowl and a silver okay. goblet. The the two things that we use, the pla okay. the plates that we use to eat the baby on, yes. So and they tell they tell me and Gabriel, but who actually killed the babies was my father. He kills the babies. Okay. So the baby's hanging up. And yes. So how do they hang it up? What do they use? You've got the string on yes. the leg. Yes. And then what's it attached to? No, no, no. It's got a screwdriver on, on the wall. There's a screwdriver yes. on the wall. Whereabouts it on the wall? It's just, it's just like a wall. It's, just, it's not like the same like this room. The door is actually there. Yeah, that, that's the, the, it's the kitchen where we actually do the, like, the, that's the u usual kitchen where we usually, like, so you go in, go yes. through the door, so yes. where's this screw on the wall? So it's just, it's just like the door, the door, pretend the door is just there, yeah. it's now the kitchen though. Yeah. This is the kitchen that we usually use. Yeah. So how do, how do I know that's a different kitchen? What's different about this kitchen? Look, where is this it? is just, is this a different shape and it looks, it looks different. Whereabouts is this kitchen in the In school? our school, in our school. Whereabouts in the school? So it's just like this, the school just, um... There's normal kitchen school, the kitchen. kitchen. That's yes, yeah, where they uh, make the school the school dinners. So, all oh right, in the school canteen yes. kitchen. Okay, so it's in yes. there. So you go in the door. Yes. Where's the screw on the wall? So it's just just like there. It's just a, this. So here's the door when yeah. you come in, and there's this little screwdriver. Screwdriver. Wait, sorry, What's screwdriver. It? It's, it's not a screwdriver. A screw. Right, a screw. Yes, it's it's in the wall. Right. And but it got space on. Yeah. So you have to hang the the string on. Yeah. But you make sure it's still it's 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 like secure. Yeah. So they put because they got because Mr. Morris he works he works hard he works with hammers he works that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. So he he gets this 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 screw in the wall, and after he hangs it up, the, he hangs the baby up. Right, okay. And Papa and me, yeah. they hold, either me or Gabriel hold on to the yeah. life, but he actually kills the baby because he puts his hand on our right, hand. Okay. So then he says to swing and then just chop off the baby's head off, yeah. but like stop straight away, like maybe for maybe so, like once, so you go like this one and then yeah. just leave a bit of space so it's still on the head. Yeah. But it's, it's, bad, it's just, the blood is dripping in the bowl, though. That's how we drain out the blood. Okay, so you do that, blood's dripping. Does blood not go, like, everywhere? 
No, 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 no. We don't make that. That we go like this. Like we don't just go like smash like yeah. that. We go like this. One like 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 not so speedy. Yeah. Just like medium speed. Yeah. So you just go like, like that fast, okay. like that. And we make sure it's not like blood spilled everywhere because they, we make sure that everything everything is clean as much yeah. as clean as they can do it because they clean it after that too. Okay. So, so if this up. blood is on the floor or something, mm. like that, they wipe it off. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, so the blood's in the bowl. Yes, and then, and then we the put, blood? and then after we re, we go pour, pour it in the silver goblet. And and where we, do they get the silver goblet from? I don't know where, what shop. No, but like where it. Yes, it's with with the white bowl in the same cupboard. In the same cupboard. Yes. It's wooden cupboard. And yes. That's not in this kitchen with the hanging on the screws on a different kitchen. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Because they get the bowl from the other kitchen to Got that it. kitchen. Understood. So where are all the people that work in the canteen then when this is happening? I don't understand. Well, there's obviously... If it's a kitchen... Yes. ...to make, I assume, is it to make all the children's lunches? Yes, but instead where are, where instead of making those the children lunches, they put, they give baby to the children. They give baby to the children? Yes, so they give, like, if they make, if they say there's spaghetti bolognese that day, they put a bit of baby meat in all the time. And how do they make baby meat to use? Yes, because they, they get they, because they cut the baby. Mrs. Forsyke, yeah. the headmistress, she cuts the baby. And what about all the bones and that? Yes, yes, they keep the where, bones. Where? But they, where after, do they go? No, I know, but the bones they do just they like, keep them. They 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 make stuff out of them. Not so they what? make like statues of the where church. Are all these Yes, because they got carving like this people carving people. They work near Swiss Cottage, somewhere there. That that's where they work in the carving shop, and it's just and then they got this. They got they tell that there's a man called Felix there, and then he he got, he makes this like he makes statues of ch churches. He makes that kind of stuff. Like so, he makes. Sorry. Can you be quiet, please? We're just doing an interview. Cheers. Yeah, no, fine. Cheers. So it's just like they make they make like statues and stuff out of the bones. Yeah. Because they got car as I said, they got carving people. So yeah. they got Felix. They got Max. Yeah. Those are the two people who are the like the best ones at carving. Yeah. So our church, we got our own church. Yeah. Yes, they make carving of that church, and then they they don't just sell it. Yeah. They sell it sometimes, but they keep it. The school keeps it sometimes, yeah. but usually they sell it for money because they want money. And how do you know all this? Because I saw they have statues of them. Okay, so Felix makes statues. Yes, and, and the skulls of the babies. You know the skulls. Yeah. Yes, we they get the the scars and they make hole they make make a hole with a driller so they make a hole in and they put they tie string around yeah. and then they put it all around the body but they're naked and they got this tattoo on the private with uh, like little piercings. Okay. Not like earrings but like little gold piercings around the private. Yeah. And they all dance around with skulls on in the church there. Okay. So they put, they have skulls like the teachers and the staff. They got twenty skulls each. And how do you know they've got twenty each? Yes, because I counted once. They were like, there's one here, and then there's one here, and there's one on the neck here. Like they looks like like and like skulls everywhere, on the knees, on the elbows. It looks like armor. Okay. So if I was to try and find these skulls, where would yes. I find them? Yes. 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 In the church. Where in the church. In the church? So there's this, this secret rooms. They got secret rooms. Go on. Tell me how yes. do I find the secret? Yeah. So when you go in the secret rooms, because they hide it in loads of places. So would you be able to help me find them? Would you? Yes. Okay. Yes, so but they just hide them anywhere. They just hide it like in one place, then they move to other place, then they move to other place. This just. Okay. So I go into the church now. Yes, and it, and they hide. Usually they hide it in their houses. Because they have parties that? in their houses. Okay. Because and Mr. Hollings, you know my teacher, yes. he lives in Highgate. Right. Yes. 
if you can see his house because his Porsche, yeah. he got Porsche and it's just at the front of his house. Okay. So, how do you know he keeps them in his house? Because I know because I went to his, his house once. Tell me about his house. What does it look like? It's big. It's big. Okay, it's big. big. We go in the front door. What colour yes. is the front door? It's, it's just normal black colour. Normal black. Normal black. Yes, so yes. We go. I go in. I've gone in to yes. Mr. Peter's house, was it? Sorry. No, Mr. Hollings. Mr. Hollings, sorry. I've gone into Mr. Hollings' house. Yes. Through the black door. Yes, and then so there's this, what do this I go into? corridor. There's a into corridor. corridor. Tell um, me about the corridor, first of all. So there's a corridor, and it's just got like, it's just a little corridor, and there's this little table there, and the shoes there, all okay. these kind of shoes, yes. Right. We'll and stop there, stop. Yes. Sorry, I don't mean to, it's rude of me to interrupt yes, it's you, I'm okay. sorry. So we've gone into this corridor. You see, it's a small corridor. Yes. It's a table. Yes. With shoes. Yes. So tell me about the table. Tell me everything about this, this table. This table has so got. It's not like it does not have stuff on. It doesn't okay. have just like skulls on. It doesn't have that. No. It got just like maybe car keys. Maybe it got his jacket on. Okay. Maybe it got his bag on. I I don't know. Different kind of stuff. Personal stuff. Okay. So this table. What does it look like? It's just like a normal, like a square table. So it's square. Yes. Because obviously, there, is, like in here, like someone could describe that as a table. This is a table. So no, they're it's... all very different, aren't they? So tell me about. First of all, if you stand up for me, yes. stand up. Can you stand up? So how high to you is the table? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, somewhere here. Okay, so somewhere there. And yes. then what colour is it? It's just normal, like normal, just normal, like black colour, like this. It's normal wooden black. Wood and black. Yes, so it's, it's wood and black. Yes. Okay. So it's up to, so it's a little bit higher than this yes. table. It's wood and black. Yes. It's square. Yes. So it's just like that like that big. Like okay. that that's the same like like this and like this. Okay. And then right, so that that's the top of it, yes. described, and it's square. Yes. And then when you go down a bit, what's yes, there? Yes, it's under the table, there's shoes there, the, his shoes there, so okay. like all his different kind of shoes. So his under shoes, the table yes. keeps his shoes? Yes. Okay, and then what about the floor? What's on the floor? On the floor, is just, as I said, it's just got shoes on. Okay, and got a little what's carpet. the floor? Car sorry? it got carpet on carpet. the floor too. What sort of carpet? Well, it's not like, like a carpet, like, it's not like carpet everywhere, everywhere. Okay. It's like, like you know when you come in the house and there's just a, usually a small like a small cupboard a carpet at the front yeah. of the door yeah. yeah it got that and then the rest is just wooden what wooden sort of just wood? brown just you see this color door just that like that so quite a, that shows quite a dark brown can you just yes. the camera to the door so that sort of color brown so that's color brown for his floor yes so you go down the corridor yes and then what rooms are off the corridor? So, so where do, where's this corridor? Here's the living room, here's the kitchen, and then just there, there's this toilet, and then here's you go up the room, up okay. the stairs. Okay, so right, so go in. Yes. There's a living room. Yes. A kitchen. Yes. A downstairs toilet. Yes. And some stairs that go upstairs. Yes, yes. And have you been in all of those rooms downstairs? Yes. Okay. Tell me about the living room first of all. What's in the there? The living room. They got secret rooms in there. What does that mean? They got secret rooms in there. In the living room. Yes. Okay. Well, tell me about the top secret. Top secret. Okay. If we talk about the not top secret bits first of all, tell yes. me about the normal bits of the living room. Yes, it's just like it's bigger than this. Okay, so it's a room bigger than this. Yes, it's it's a big large room and then you've got a table, you've got a television, you've got a sofa, it's, it's like a normal living room. Okay. Yes, and it's there, there's like a half part is a living room and a half part is a dining room. Okay. So it's like mixed rooms, That that's why it's big. Okay, so yes. it's got a living room and a dining room. Yes. Yep. And in one whole room. Has he got any tables or chairs or yes. sofas or anything yes, like yes. that? What's he got? So he's got a television, just a, a big Samsung. Samsung. How yes. do you know it's Samsung? Because you can see silver writing Samsung on. Okay, so he's got Samsung telly, a big yes. one. And what yes. does that... What, where is that telly? It's just like at the front. Like, it looks a bit like a table like that, but it's a bit smaller. And it's a bit like this size, this like this okay. height. And how big is the that air thing? It's the same size, but it's just this height. So it's as big as this, yes. but smaller. So about yes. this height. Of this. Yes. 
But okay. And it's just, the television is done and the sofa's done. Tell it's me about the, table. the sofa. What sort of sofa? So is this got? like a, it's not like a sofa. It's not like 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 a like multicolored. It's, it's not just what is just like a, this not brown, but it's kind of blackish, really, really, really dark brown. And what sort of size is the sofa? It's like it's like this, but like if you join that chair to the sofa, yeah. so if it's like that, and you add a chair just here, so like it's, it's a join. So it's longer, is it? Yes, yes. And what about and then it, okay? So it's a long sofa, it's like that, like the, like this. And what shape is it, the sofa? So it's like this. So you got it's like that, the sofa, like okay, that. Okay, like an L shape. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. Yes. So it's got a, a bigger sofa than this. It's like a blacky colour. Yes, it's really, an L shape. really dark brown. But okay. like much darker. And where does he keep the baby skulls? The baby skulls in his house, yes. Whereabouts? So they so then at the front where the dining room there's this big wardrobe. Yeah. And he just keeps maybe spare clothes or anything like that. Like yeah. maybe like if there's like maybe plates, bowls, anything yeah. like that. Yeah. He just keeps it there. But it's not like the wardrobe is just like the skulls right in the wardrobe. Yeah. You can see it like you open the door and you can see it. Yeah. It's not like that. It's no. top secret in there. Go on, tell me how to find it. Yes. Then. So then after it's just maybe just because sometimes he keeps spare clothes as I said. Yeah. So you've got a hanger and you've got just clothes, the coats or anything like that. Yeah. There. And then after you have to apart the clothes Correct. and there's a little okay. door there, but it's like it's like it looks camouflaged. You how can't you really mean? see it. So how would I be able to find it, the door? So <laughs> So here's the clothes, but you can't see the door. Because the clothes are in front of it. Yeah. It's all like all covered like that. Yeah. But you have to part the clothes, and after you can, see, it's like it looks like a, it looks like a, just like a normal wall. Yeah. But it's not a normal wall. It got a little handle there. Is there? Yes. And what does this handle look like? How could I find it? It's like a, like not like a handle like that, but it's it, it's just still wooden. It's like like a bendy one, like like okay. like. How to say like that? Okay. And when I open that door, what, yes. what do I find? So then inside, there's you have to go downstairs to underground. Goes so like, underground. Yes. And what's in there underground? So then we go underground, and after there's this little hallway, and then on the right there's this door, and then there's this big enormous secret room. And what's in the secret room? In the secret room, there's cupboards everywhere. Looks like everywhere, but then they do sex there too. Who, how do you know they do sex there? Because they took me there to do sex. Who took you there? My pa father, Mr. Hollings took me. So you're who? My father. Your father, sorry. Okay, do you call him father or papa? Papa. It, papa. So papa's taking you down there. And what did you do there? So it's just like, say, so after you do sex there, so... What they does have sex mean? So like they have plastic, they buy plastic quillies. Right, okay. Yes, and then they, they, they strap it on. And, but they make sure her, they want plastic willies. They don't want to real use their real willies. Why not? Because it just doesn't hurt. They want to make sure it hurts. Okay. So who's they? So Papa and who else? Mr. Hollings, headmistress. Okay, so Papa, all the teachers. Mr. Hollings, the headmistress. Yes, Miss Marden, Mr. Fanoni, Mr. Gorge. Okay. So who done it when you went to that house? Who was there? So all all the all the staff all, all the staff all the parent you know the parents of all yeah. the children they all all know about it okay they do it okay and so you've got in there yes and who's used the plastic willies all of them all, all of, of them. them and where do they keep the plastic willies they keep them in the cupboards they got as I said they've got cupboards around okay so they've got like maybe two cupboards there and two cupboards there they've got cupboards around all okay. around the room. Okay, so I make sh I want to just make sure I get this absolutely correct. So and they've got the exits, so if in case of because in case because they they know that they know that because they they do not trust me and Gabriel. Yeah. That because they say that not to tell anyone about yes. this. Yes. Okay. But they do not trust us. No. Why no, not? because they can see them. Because they, they do, because they when they tell us not to tell about the, this anything, they look so curious. So okay. They it looks like they they that it looks like they're not trust. They do okay. trust us. Okay. So I just get you right, Mr. Holling's house. Yes. I'll go there. 
He had to push yes. outside. Then you go to the door, yes. dark door. Yes. You go into a corridor. Yes. It's got yes. a little carpet by the yes. door. Wooden floor, very yes. dark like this door. Yes. 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 On the on the sides of the you show yes, me there. Yes, there's a living room at the front. There's a kitchen and then there's the. There's there's a little table. Yes. Then you go into the living room. Yes. You've got a large sofa. Yes. Which is in an L shape. Yes. Big Samsung telly yes. on a large black shelf. Yes. Thing yes. You described. You said in the dining room area. Yes. He's got a wardrobe. Yes. Then. And it's all just uh, stuffed in spare clothes. If as you, you said. all stuffed with spare clothes, but if you part it. Yes. You find a little door. Yes, but you can't, you can't, you you can't really cellar. see it because it's kind of, like kind of camouflaged. It's camouflaged. Like, yes, it looks a but bit. But there's a little wooden handle. Yes, yes. You can open that. Yes. But go they've got down. exits. The real thing is that they've got exits there because they can run out the house too. Right. Okay. But you go down into this. It takes you into a basement. Yes. And then in there, there's loads of cupboards. Yes, loads of cupboards, and there's. And in there, there, yes. Your dad, Paso Papa, Mr. Hollings, some other members of staff. Yes. Have then had sex with you. Yes. Using plastic. Wires, yes, and then they touch each said, other. Okay. And they, and as I said, they sell me and my brother for fifty pounds each to every who? single day. To who? To any people, any people who like, like any people who would like. Do well. Who are like the kind of people who will actually do sex to yeah. like who can't come to a, to school, who are busy yeah. or anything okay. like that. But then they keep me and Gabriel yeah. to do sex to whilst they got their equipment. Yeah. So okay. they got the plastic quillies. Yeah. And then they do it. And then after like maybe for two hours, maybe one up du during school hours. Okay. So the. What is sex? Yes. We haven't said what sex is. What is it? So, like sex, so they they touch each so they touch each other on a private. Right. And okay. as I said, they well, I didn't tell you about this, but they got this big plastic stick. Right. Yes, not not plastic, but wooden. Yeah. Yes, and then they put it between our legs and they hit it right between us, but like. They're in between our her legs. So they hit you with a wooden stick yes. between your legs. Yes. And what's what's that? Is that sex? Is it? No, no, no. What's but that's how they hurt hurt us. But a real sex is like they get plastic quillies. They put stick it in our bum. That's what kind of sex okay. they do. And what is your bum? So they stick in a plastic quilly in our bum, where okay. so where the poo comes out. Okay. So they put a plastic yes. quilly in the bum where the poo comes yes. out. Yes. Okay. Yes. And anywhere else? Yes, in our front private. Okay. And then they you say our front private. Who are you talking yes, about? Yes, no, no. So if they, if they like, if because if we if we say it hurts or if we cry or make a sound, yeah. they'll give us spoon licks. So they'll get a spoon. Spoon licks. Yes. What does that mean? So you get spoons and then they hit us, hit us, hit us on the head. Okay. That's why whenever we come back to our okay. mum, she always says she doesn't say, but that's why we always got bumps on our heads. Okay. But she doesn't say, why do you have bumps on your head? She doesn't say that. Do you know how to get to Mr. Holling's house, do you? Me, from my, from our school. From our, from your school, do you? A bit. I know, I know some of the way. I know some of the way. Where, where could, if, where, if we took you some, where would you be able to find where his house is? So it's just like, I'd... it's, I don't remember, there's like the number of his actual house but could you say say we drive near it could you yes. say yep yeah, it's that one yes that? i can i can spot it because i know because he always park he when he no matter what yes. he always parks his porsche at the front oh, okay. always i know or like okay. his car looks like i know absolutely. do you know what street it's in what the name of the street is or where no i don't remember but i know it's highgate it's highgate so, if we went to Highgate, yes. would you be able to find the house? Yes. How if we drove know? around Highgate, yeah. drove around, and if I spot like a, like if I spot the house because I know how the house but looks. But obviously, like. say there's, there's maybe a thousand houses in Highgate. Yes, yes, yes. So how a would lot. you uh, how would you know where to go? No, because you know, we because to say, oh, turn left down this street. No, how but that's know? because Gone. because when me and my uh, Abraham, my mom's friend. And my mum and Gabriel, we go to this other friend's house called Gary. Yeah. Yes, and then we as you go through Highgate. He lives near Highgate, so you goes. So when you go through Highgate, just at the yeah. bottom 
of Highgate, he lives there. So then, when we go through, I can also when you go through on the le on the left, you can all that's the road where I remember that's around there. That's where his house is. So if we went to Gary's house, you'd be able to tell me from there, would you? Yeah, yeah. But my 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 uh, my mum and uh, Abraham no, knows how to go to Gary's house. Okay. So when we're on the way, I know. Yes. Okay. And has anything ever happened at your dad's house? Yes. What? My father lives at Angel Road. Oh, okay. But it's like on the corner, right on okay, the corner. Okay, what happened there? And so there's, they got the same, like Mr. Hollings. What? A bit, same they, a bit the same house, a bit the same. In this, they, looks the same, looks this, like I said, said, the wardrobe, this, that okay. kind of stuff. That's a, the same, so they've got this little, the stairs down, says, yes. Okay, because, so yes. if I went to your dad's house, yes. get to your dad's house, what yes. colour doors his? Yeah, his one is kind of light, lightish brown, lightish brown. So it's got a lightish brown door, yes. so go in there, Yes. where's this wardrobe? The in the living room, as I said, so a bit this, like, like Mr Hollings's. So go to the living room, and uh, what does this wardrobe look like? It's not like Mr. Hollings's, but similar. It's long. It's okay. long. Okay, so go to the war wardrobe. Yes. And how do I get through the secret door? How do I get into the secret door? Yeah, they've got keys. They've got keys to the door. Uh, because Mr. Morris, my father, uh, my, well, Papa... How could I tell there's a door there? So I go to the wardrobe. Yes. How would I know that it's not just the back of a wardrobe and it's a door? How could I tell? What's different about it? Was, there's no difference. There's no difference. Where do you put the key, then? No, 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 there's no key to go in a yeah. wardrobe. Yeah. There's no key. Right, sorry. But I'm when you go just... down the stairs into the secret room, right. underground, they got the room, the room in there, they got the keys to oh, it. Okay. Mr. Morris, Papa, Mrs. Forsick, Mr. Hollings, they got like big, big bunches of keys. I see. Big. So how do I get. So I open the. Open the wardrobe. What's in the wardrobe? So it's just stuffed in with clothes. Like it's spare in with clothes. clothes. Yes. So I get all the clothes out of the way. Yes. Then what do I find? And then after you find this, just, it looks like just like a normal wardrobe yeah. wall because it's camouflaged yeah. and it makes sure yeah. you can't see it. Yes. So but how actually, do I there find is a door. door? Because it's just right in the middle. So here's, okay. here's the, here's the, the, this is the wardrobe. Would I be able to see so like, just, the gap or not? No, it's, it's a, like camouflage. So like, Imagine this was like red, and then you, yeah. the, like imagine this was yeah. like this is this is the yeah. same colour. Would I be able to move the wardrobe out of the way and find a hole in the wall? Would I or not? No, no, no. That's Why no, not? no, because you have to the, the door is attached to the wall, right. and it got stairs going down. So if I move the wardrobe, yes, would I see the door? Yes. Okay. But then, if so is that the best thing to do? Then is it? Yes, yeah, sometimes yes. But okay. sometimes when they go in the wardrobe and they go downstairs, they close behind the, w the door, and then they've got this another like it looks like like, an, like another brick wall. It looks like a brick wall door, and then they close it behind too. Right. So it looks like a double door. Let, let me just make sure I'm clear. So go to your dad's house. Yes. The wardrobe's there. Yes. I'll move the wardrobe out of the way. Yes. There's a door. Yes. I go down the stairs. Yes. And then what do I see down the stairs? Down the stairs you go down and as as I said they've got a little corridor, a little hallway. Yeah. So then there's a little hallway and then on the right, just here, yeah. there's just the then there's just the little another just a tiny tiny corridor. So maybe like from there, from yeah. here yeah. to here and then just there's this door. Just okay. here, and then that's where the, the secret room is. But it got special keys, though. As I said, it got big bunches of keys. Got it. Understood. It got loads. Like, okay. Look, so, if you go to Mr. Morris, yeah. In our school, if they, if you wait till our school, so today's Friday. Yes. So wait till Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Go to our school. Catch Mr. Morris. Yeah. He's a big tall guy. Okay. I'll catch the whole school. To catch all the all the staff there. What children? You told us one child to speak to. What other children? Yeah, Millie Carroll, Sophie Herlika, Sophie Jack Herlika. Jones, Ella Darby, Mia Gavish, uh, loads of other children, loads. Okay. But me and Gabriel. Are any are of they... these your friends out of school? Sorry. Are any of these friends of yours out of school? No, but Millie, yeah. Millie Carroll, she left school. Why? Because she does. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like she the now? sex. She went in Salisbury's. Salisbury. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
But Not still, so, because when she went to Salisbury, she thought that was the school it won't do, because okay. other schools do it. So, Hampstead Paroku do it. St. Luke's does it. All the Hampstead schools do it. The area. Really? You went. Wow. Okay. Just, um, um, this, you know the school with this tree? The school with this tree. I don't, but we'll find out. No, that, that school, this... And then there's this school, it's between houses. Okay. And then, and then all there's this like, between houses there is, yeah. And you know, there's in our neighbours, yeah. in our on our road, Five Patterson Road, up there, this, here's our house, and just go up, 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 and just there, there's this, we've got a neighbour, she's Russian, and she's in it. Your neighbour, how yes. do you know she's in it? Because we do, she comes to her to school that her, because she got two sons. Yeah. One to just a tiny baby. It's Russian though. His name is Misha. Misha. Yes, and the other one is called. Um, What's Sasha. his real name? Sasha. So Alexander is it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. His real his real name is his Alexander. name is Sasha, but he, they call him Alexander. Well, Alexander's yes. his real name. Yes. Isn't yes. It? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So then they that family. They do, they do it. They have the, yeah. I don't know what the school is called, but it's just, you know, um, you know Tesco next to this parish church? Yes. Yes, there's Tesco, and then just like when you go there, there's this, this, just this, but just this uh, station, yeah. and you just go down and down, and then you can see the post office there, and you go straight down, and it's on the right, you can see this little road, and then okay. you go there, and after there, there, and after there's the school. You know the school between yeah. there. Yes, okay. that school. That's where they go. That's the right. school, paedophile school. Paedophile school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have a little break. Is that all right? I mean, me and Claire just have a quick chat. Just see if there's anything else we're going to cover. Because I know it's late, and I don't want you getting too tired. Because it's been a long day for I'm you. I'm not really tired anyway. Really? Right? You've I'm, done very I'm, well. I'm full of food in my tummy. Yeah. What did you have? I had. I went to the Indian cafe. Oh, did you? Yes, you I have? had some mosa, had rice, I had some salad. Yeah. I had some rice. It's like rice bread yeah. with so like mango chutney. Oh right. Yes, oh, I had nice. that, but I'm just so full. I, I had, bet it sounds. I, I had this, I had this this enormous plate like that. Okay, okay. We'll just have a couple of minutes. You just wait here for us. Is that all right? As a yeah. police officer of 20 years, I had the opportunity of actually sitting with a mother, in this case for three hours. I can absolutely tell you with my experience of interrogation over a 20 year period, as a former detective sergeant, she was speaking 110% truth. I know there's been no investigation, there's no, been no proper police statement taken from this woman because of the way she's been harassed. I also know that we have child abuse in this country to epidemic levels. I was on Saturday sitting with a former MP from the Home Office who categorically stated to me that we've got now about one in ten children being abused. And we have a police force that's in denial and it's not you. I know that. It comes from senior levels. We now need to recognise this and start acting on it to change the ethos of what is wrecking so many children's lives and costing so much deprivation and degradation to the way we live on this planet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really putting that out there clearly. Everybody knows it. We've got to start acting on it. And a great time to do that is at this election. Yeah. We've got an election coming up and we need on the hustings to ask what our MPs are doing about this. A lot of it is un underpinned by the ridiculous situation that we've got with debt and the way our financial system actually constrains people from, from talking. Well, that certainly needs looking at. But just think, we have a former Home Office Minister who has said that we've got one in ten children being abused. And it's going on now. It's not historic. It was historic. But it's happening now. And Ella and those two children's case is not unique. I sat with her for three hours and she, what she shared was 100% truth. And I know no police officers have properly investigated this. It's incumbent upon 
you, Sergeant, to make sure that that investigation starts fully and fairly. And I'm not looking to blame. What I'm looking for is a time when we can turn our backs on this sort of happening, that we can keep our children safe and we can live a life where they can flourish and not be suppressed. I was with someone who was abused by a Catholic priest. It massively, massively changes people's lives. And there are people around me here who have been abused. It hugely changes lives. So if we can't look after our children in this society, mm -hmm. we're doing a pretty, pretty poor job. So let's change it. You know, I know you're a good man and there's good men around here and good women around here who want to see that happen. So let's make it happen. Tell us again your uh, former title. I was a detective sergeant in Sussex Police. Your name? Okay. It's Ray Sapp. How about this fact? There's been no criminal investigation at all on the father. There's been no criminal investigation on the Christchurch Primary School. Hopefully I didn't ruin your week, but uh, to me, silence is consent. And uh, if anybody has any ideas of what we can do, breaks my heart for these kids. They didn't make that shit up. I know kids. Doesn't matter if you coached them both for a year. Why would the mom want the situation she's in now? The lie would have been easy. Could have said anything. Tell me what you think. I would love to hear it. I established, with the help of people like John DeCamp, former state senator in Nebraska, that we have in this country today a covert military criminal enterprise, government enterprise, primarily by U.S. military intelligence, that is operating full throttle and everybody refuses to investigate it. In the Nebraska case, it's called the Franklin cover-up. This is the book here that I, that John DeCamp wrote, by the way. It's all documented in there. And in that particular instance, they were taking children out of foster homes, orphanages, um, Boys Town, driving them from Omaha, Nebraska to Sioux City, Iowa, 184 miles away placing them in private jets and flying them to Washington, D.C. for sex orgies with prominent people, including congressmen, senators, and certain people in the White House. I want you to know I'm not a, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy realist. It is there. And this not only ties into a MK Ultra, CIA, it ties into Satanism. There are approximately four million practicing Satanists in America today involved in the Nebraska case. And I can go on about Satanic cults for another hour, but I think my time is almost up. I might mention that speaking of Satanism, there are between 50 and 60,000 human sacrifices, according to three different sources, in this country every year. The satanic cults operate secretly. The satanic cults are, along with our covert criminal enterprise within the government, a serious threat to our society. And I thank you very much. So, if you do me a big favor, please mirror this video on your channel. I think that the only way we can change anything is to get the word out far and wide. And hopefully everybody sees the problem here. I mean, to start with 4 million Satanists in just the United States, 50,000 to 60,000 sacrificed a year, that's 165 people a day. So are these things going on and we all just don't see it? Really, really sad. I mean, the fact that those poor kids are stuck with their father after the police were called five times just between 2006 and 2010 and with three of those times ended with filed police reports for domestic violence 
And it just so happens that on 9-11-2014, those kids were taken into protective custody, and six days later, they retracted their stories. It really is disgusting. I mean, are those at the head of the UK royal family and those in charge of the government here in the United States, are they the ones covering up pedophilia and Satanism? It's heartbreaking. Can we do anything? Is there anyone in the UK who has any ideas? Email me. I mean, what can we do? They're killing babies. They're sacrificing babies. They're abusing children. And they're brainwashing kids and raping them too. All while we hand them the money that gives them the ability to do so. This world is sick. I don't know if you guys have heard of Svali. Uh, she was the Illuminati whistleblower who had witnessed several sacrifices to Satan while under the Vatican. And she then stated that the bones of those that she sacrificed or that she saw sacrificed were sent to all the new Catholic churches throughout the world so that they could put a bone inside the altar. Let me tell you a little story. When I was young, I basically grew up in the church and there was one day that I was playing underneath the altar up on the little stage there, just kind of messing around. I was probably nine, 10. And I looked underneath the altar and there was a little doorway, a little, what looked like a sliding trap door. Well, I was afraid to touch it. So I asked a priest what was in there. And he told me that every church, every Catholic church has the bone of a martyr inside the altar. So, if you ask me, in my opinion, it is highly likely that in every single Catholic church in the world, inside the altar, there is a bone of a sacrificed baby to Satan. Well, I feel like silence is consent, and I just don't know where to scream anymore. So if anyone's got any ideas... Let me know. This has been Jaronism, reminding you to do what's right, take care of each other, don't lie to one another. I think it's time we realize it's our job to fix this world. No one's coming to save us. And if you think the government's going to save you, well, you're just not thinking. That's the last thing on their mind. So open your eyes. There's truth inside. Until next time.